This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Hey guys, it is Three, the two, one go. Oh, it is the Wrestling Mayhem show. It is the Christmas special edition, which I think we're releasing this on Christmas Eve. So, hello, Merry Christmas, or or post Hanukkah, or whatever the case may be. Uh, hello, out there. We have with us, as usual, we have a Christmas tradition. I don't know how many years is this. Like the fifth year we've done this. I believe so. I it so. is. Chess Flexor is here. Yes. We'll say something. Oh, he's flexing. He's flexing. What am I flexing? You're, you're flexing your nipple. My chest. Your chesticles. Chest he is chest flexor. That's the first time you've ever introduced yourself with a with the chest uh, flex. You got to switch it up. After five years, you got to switch it up a little. You bit. do have to mix it up a little bit. And also with the sweetest um, '80s WWF T-shirt is Hello. Corey Futuristic. Yes. I can't do the peck thing. No, <laughs> I haven't been working out. No, but you can dance. There is something else throbbing I, though over that he's. What are you doing? Over what? There? Mm? What are you making? What are you making pulsate over there? I don't know what he's. Yeah, doing. what are you doing over there? I don't uh, <laughs> <laughs> we had a match with Brooklyn Brawler, and he was like, "I love this shirt. Like, where am I at in it?" And I don't know. It was pretty. It was the Brooklyn funny. Brawler on that shirt? Yeah, he is. He's like. Oh, he's up, oh up on the shoulder. There he's he like is. Right over there. So yeah. you. <laughs> That, that's got to be a weird thing to be wearing the sh- wearing a shirt with the person you're you're yeah. going to be taking on that night. <laughs> yeah, he was like, "It'd be cool if you had everybody autograph it," and I'm like, "I'm not falling well, for that." I shit. think half of them are dead. Yeah, that's and true. is Virgil in there? Uh, probably. I think so. I don't know. Possibly. It might be that era. I mean, I'm seeing like kind of '90s crush in there. So if you're on audio, this is like a wonderfully illustrated. Is your dog in the studio? I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> is a podcast dog here? I don't know. <laughs> what? What is this? I think the studio is haunted. Oh, jeez. Oh, hey, who knows what this place used to be before they renovated it? So I think we all know what it used to be. <laughs> what do you What do you think it used to be? Child trafficking. Child, hey, I don't know, and man. Guess what it is still? Child trafficking. The, I, there is a very oh. questionable refrigerator something closet oh. in the basement. Well, oh. well. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, it is the Christmas special, um, and the alcohol is flowing. So, those that are looking for another boop of the internet, um, I guess first of all, chest. You had a hell of a year. Yes, I did. You had a hell of a year. I believe you went. In, you came into the year. You're still flexing. There's just somebody is taking a beer from behind you. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you. Uh, I believe you started the year with the, as a high stakes champion, right? Yeah. Okay. And then eventually, um, you had a pasta death match. High stakes. I had a pasta death match. Then I had another pasta death match, but only after. The baguette on a pole match. Mm-hmm. So uh, we just had Marshall in here uh, recently talking about that. It, it seems like that's the thing that's kind of um, prospect pro wrestling has kind of become a, a little bit known for now. Marshall dummy thick. <laughs> well, it's going to be known for something. It might as well be something that I'm doing. So. There you go. There you go. Uh, how, how has your 2019 been? Pasta and not... Well, I feel like I see you guys half the time these days. I started out as a champion, mm-hmm. and I'm also ending as a champion. Oh, what'd you pick up? I am the current Black Diamond Wrestling Internet Television Champion. That's right. I actually have the title in my car. Really? I can go get it. Uh, that was, uh, I think the officially the, the quality rentals. Do you get a discount with that? I hope so. Yeah. Is <laughs> it... <laughs> What's happening? Something's going on around here. What about you, Corey? How was your 2019? Uh, it was good, I guess. <laughs> we did some cool stuff. I don't really remember. <laughs> okay. So it couldn't have been that good. This wasn't the year with the Brooklyn Brawler. 2020 is going to be better. Okay. A lot more sexiness. Okay. A lot more 
Ernest is going to come back. Ernest. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, uh, we're yeah. talking about Ernest from the movies. <laughs> what does that sound? I have no idea. Chest, what does that sound? If I were to guess, I would say it would be a Christmas miracle. A Christmas miracle? What is. <laughs> I don't even have a camera on what's going on over here. <laughs> Chess, what are we doing? What's going on here? Do we need to reveal our Christmas miracle? Yeah, I think so. La Migra! La Migra Mencia Ramos, come here! La Migra! Andale, andale, andale. Andale. Okay, okay. You have an assistant. La Migra. It seems. Andale. Oh my goodness, it's a Christmas miracle. <gasps> what? <laughs> this one my own. There you go. We'll count this one. There you go. Jimmy DeMarco, back in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. What do you guys do at this Christmas thing? Post <laughs> offices. <sighs> yeah, I know, and I like it kind of like, like it doesn't hug it all the way, but you can still see little signs of beef, like there's life there. It doesn't like totally hide the. So the, 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 you're wearing a very what is that? Uh, uh, felty looking feeling. There's a. Uh, La Migra. <laughs> La Migra, come spank, come spank, La Migra. Hold, hold. Oh, spank is. He's been a naughty boy. Like, what, make sure you hit the. The cheek, not the crack. <laughs> Sweet. There's more where that came from. Jimmy DeMarco, back in. It's like you were just here a couple months ago. I was with Dombrowski. Yeah, Wait, give him a mic over there. <laughs> I was here with Joe Dombrowski when it was hot out. And it's about to get hotter even though it's cold outside. <laughs> we're about to you know melt what time all the it snow. Is. Snow can't melt. <laughs> Jeez. What do you got? Hey, this roof ain't going to raise itself. Awesome. Uh, Jimmy, what have you been up to? How's your 2019 been? It it fucking sucked. (laughs) (laughs) No, for real. I got bit by a raccoon. I had to get... uh, I was telling you about it the other day. I got bit by a raccoon. I had Satan to say they put a curse on me. I told you about that. Yeah. That was December. And they really did, too. I had a raccoon bite me. I almost blew my knee out in March. I, uh... Had a mild heart attack in August. What? Yeah, yeah, for real. I almost died. Like, Jeez. I did almost die. I fought off cardiac arrest. I swear to God, I'm not lying. Like, oh, there was a hot black lady at the Turnpike toll booth holding my hand. I was just <laughs> smelling her perfume, and I was like, the scent is making me hard. If I die, I'm going to die hard. And I fought that shit off. I didn't, I didn't pass out, which was, honest to God, one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life, but I fought that off. And they told me to live differently, but here I am chugging Modelo. <laughs> I can make myself cry, so if I start crying, it's not it's not real. It's it's just it's just happening. So I mean, did you have to change your diet, or you you have to cut out red meat or something? Yeah, I just think about John Cena visiting sick kids. Oh, it just makes my Christmas. <laughs> But yeah, I I'll, I'll, I'll never stop eating red meat. They okay. can feed me salad burgers all they want. And I'll fucking I'll sh- You haven't tried the Impossible Burger? Hell no! I have yeah. nightmares of Rosie O'Donnell on the White House lawn feeding Impossible Whoppers to fucking young boys, and I come what? out of the sky on the Mayflower like shoot her, shoot her, kill her. But the f- cannons don't do anything. <laughs> She's just too thick, dummy thick like Marshall, right? That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know what time it is. <laughs> it's Christmas time. What's your favorite Christmas song? Sing it, Sorg. Da. I don't. I don't have one. Oh, hell come I don't have on, one ready. Man. I don't have one ready. Transsexual orchestra. Christmas. I, I count on. I count on you guys to get me into the Christmas spirit. To be honest. When I get excited, the hat starts going like this. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, Mariah Carey song is like number one. In is the that yours? Charts. Uh, wait, uh, the old one or like yeah, she have the a old new one from like? All I want for Christmas from like twenty five years ago. Yeah. What do you want for Christmas? Let's go around the horn right now before we get 
too crazy. Okay. What does everybody want for Christmas this year? Sword. <laughs> um, I, 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 I'm, I'm good. I'm good, man. You don't want anything for Christmas. I mean, I'd love a, I'd love a VR headset. Okay. To be honest, there you go. What, That'd what, be which nice. one? Which one? I don't, the, the good one. Oh, uh, the, you want the good yeah, one? The, the good one. <laughs> One of those quests or something like that, the mm-hmm. Oculus. Mm-hmm. We were talking about it on Awesome Cast the other day. So, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can't you uh, do some pretty fun games with an Oculus? Uh, there's some interesting ones, yes. <laughs> there's that, just, too. We're going to catch Sorg in the room like... <laughs> <laughs> People are going to be walking down the street <laughs> looking in the window. <laughs> They're going to be like, drink on Hulk on. <laughs> What about you, Flex? Well... What about Tiger Girl? What does she want? La Migra. What do you... What the fuck does Elmer mean? I don't get... I don't Elmer know. Elmer Fudge. You want Elmer's Fudge? Is that what you said? There's a man who walks up and down Broadway. You want a baby? A named Elmer Fudge. You want a baby? He is, does. He's crazy. You need seed? <laughs> what? Oh, jeez. La Migra. La Migra Mancia Ramos needs seed inside of her. Mm. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> Corey. <laughs> what Corey. a knee slapper. Get, tell what? us, what, what is Santa going to bring you this year? Uh, I don't really know. I'm not sure. Yeah. What do you want? What do you want Santa to bring you? I want Santa to show up at my house, uh, but it really it'll be Tim Allen. Okay. You want, so you like, want Tim Allen just Santa? just be like, who? Huh? And then he can leave after that. Wait, wait. So wait, you, you, you want Home Improvement Tim Allen? Yeah, because he's Santa Claus. Okay. The movie, dude. Yes. That's a good beat, man. And <laughs> like, if he just like shows up and is like, "Merry Christmas," like, hey. so like, you want Tim Allen for Christmas? <laughs> that's all I want. That's all you. Want. <laughs> what about you, Jimmy? Jeez. <sighs> World peace. <laughs> yeah. Muscles. Tall. I wish I had uh, I Rock that could transform into a transformer, and I would just take it to certain places around the world and, uh, and instill world peace on my own with my I Rock transformer, black and gold I Rock transformer. What do you mean an I Rock? I call it's a car. <laughs> oh, a okay. Car, you know, like Bumblebee, except like for uh, Dagos, and uh, I mean like. That's the PC Christmas wish that I have. I don't want to say on air with my real, Why but I would really like. Real one is. I would like that's the PC Justin one? Plummer in like the butterfly position under my tree, and I would like him to give me a Tokyo taxi driver. <laughs> <laughs> that's a hand job with a sandpaper mitten. <laughs> I'm kidding. If you're watching this, Plummer, I'm kidding. Unless you, unless you like want to, you know, do it. I mean, we're we're both married, so it's not gay, but. It's 2019, about to be 2020. If you're not gay, you're not cool. So let's do some gay shit, man. Come on. Hey, Sorg, do you have any, do you have any sandpaper over there? No, I don't have any sandpaper in the studio. My hands are like sandpaper. So I can perform the maneuver with or without the sandpaper mitten. When you see someone walking towards you like this, you know you're fucked. Because I'm just like warming up the mitt, right? What's the most intimidating move, Sorg? Warming up the mitt or ringing the dinner bell? <laughs> I'd say the warm up. Oh, what? Really? Ring, you know what the ringing of the dinner bell is? No. Should I tell him? It's when you take your index and middle finger and you put your entire genitals between it and you go. Whenever I'm in the water at the beach, I do that to let any deep sea predator know within like a five mile radius <laughs> if you want to bite, you fucking come get it. But if you're under eight foot long, you're getting yeah. hoisted out of that water. I'm going to deposit you on the beach. Public autopsy. Uh, ha! Ha! I'm going to pull out a fucking license plate, half-eaten eight-year-old boy. Anything that's in your belly is coming out. Because when I come on that beach, the lifeguard, he bows, gives me his whistle. He says, you're so jacked. It's so juicy. You rule the beach now. I said, you're fucking right, I do. Do some laps. Fuck Jaws. Fuck anything in that ocean. Let me read my... This is man's world. Let me me- read my Christmas list. My wish list. Okay. Oh, I gotta find it. It's, I gotta is that see. a new iPhone? You don't yes, like it Ooh. Pro Max. No, I hate like giant sharks. Like, I don't mind little sharks. I hate giant sharks. I have so many lists on here and notes and stuff. What is this? Uh, Emperor Palpatine kills Ray, and that's what turns 
Kylo Ren back to the light. Oh, that, sorry, that's Star Wars spoilers. I can't find my Christmas wish list. Simply irresistible. P A O H N Y N H. Fish hook with a bungee cord. Oh, that's my sexual wish list. You know what? I'm just going to go off the top of my head. What I wish for is for Corey Futuristic and I in 2020 to have the most amazing wrestling gear, mm -hmm. to come up with the most amazing tag team combinations. And whenever we get in the ring, hopefully we have five star classics all across the board 2020. You ready for that, Corey? I guess so. That was like took a while to get to that. Felt like just like mm -hmm. just like my matches it takes a while to get to the point, and usually doesn't. But one time, me and Jimmy, we went to see Monster Squad at the Dormont Theater, and the main kid was there. And Jimmy was like really excited to meet the main actor and get his autograph, and then he found out that the dude was charging like twenty bucks or something. He was like, <laughs> "Fuck that!" <laughs> he he walked out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the wall. Yeah, like, I wouldn't have paid either. Uh, he's not fucking Tom Selleck or something. You know what I mean? Like he was in one fucking movie. And yeah. then the worst part is, he was doing a Q and A, and nobody knew the answers. We, we I knew the answer to one question. Remember, I yelled out yeah. to him. He's like. Mm -hmm. Where was the Easter egg if you watch? Oh, so uh, like he actually didn't know anything about the movie itself. No, he knew, but nobody else knew. So I thought, hey, since it I was, know. It was a reverse Q&A where he was asking the fans. Wait, the what? Shows. Wait, was it like a trivia night yeah, or something? He was like, well, yeah, because he's, he's talking to people and like half the people were drunk and then the other half the people don't know anything. <clears throat> so like, hold on one second. You're going to go get that guy. Yeah. Where's it going? Hey, Where's it going? Hey, 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 hey my, uh, Jim, grab that mic while you're at it. Wait, well, so you have one over there. Yeah, so this asshole yeah, yeah, Andre go. Gower, <laughs> he fucking goes to me. What'd he say? Corey, he was like, and the movie Night of the Creeps, there was an Easter egg for the Monster Squad. Mm -hmm. Does anybody know what the Easter egg is? It's fucking silence. So I stand up, I raise my hand, and he's like, yeah. And I'm like, it was in the shitter. And he's like, everyone starts get laughing. He's like, yes, it was in the Louvre. This fucking dude played a, a kid who hunted Dracula in 1987, and he's talking about the Louvre like he's fucking Sha Will Shakespeare. They were on the on the shitter, and well, the he, but he was an actor. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> I can quote fucking Shakespeare. I can make myself cry on command. I can do fucking, but I'm five foot five, and I won't I, do Scientology. So, you know, I'm not. I'm no, I'm no Tom Cruise. I can't break my ankles jumping from building to building. I mean, you you've you've made fans cry over the years. You, you've made fans cry over the <laughs> I want to make you cry when I start shaking my ass. Swords going to be like, it's the American flag. It's the fucking American flag. <laughs> Where's the flagpole? Oh, beautiful, four spacious skies. And the amber waves of green. Oh, yeah! When you go through Liberty Tunnel in Pittsburgh, you have to lean your head out the window and go, Save me, Undertaker! <laughs> we do have a sighting. Marshall Gambino's in the uh, chat room. Mm. Ask him how hard he is right now. <laughs> Ask him if you ever hit a fan in the chest with a dinner platter with a battering. <laughs> I think, isn't that the one that got him kicked out of a town? No, I don't know if it got... We never went back. We, was it, remember at Mother's Day? Were you there? No, I wasn't there. We go. Oh, it's like Mother's Day. We went to this show, and there's like 23 people in the crowd, and dude's like, I'm sorry, guys, I can't pay you. And Bolin was there. Bolin's like, no shit, you can't pay us. There's like 20 fucking people out there. Well, then all the fans started jumping up in the ring to attack everybody, and Marshall was like, fucking Ben Affleck. He took this dinner platter and like swung it. Fucking cracked the dude right across the chest. He just melted. He was gone. <laughs> That's because Mickey... Insulted the the guy's brother. He had on some overalls, like gosh, 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 or some shit. And he's like, "Hey, I guess he said the kid's daughter, the guy's daughter, was his girlfriend." And the dude just unbuttoned his overalls, and all I saw was like chest hair, gray, silver, gold. He was gonna come in, but then Marshall took care of business, like he does, right? Magic, 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 magic. Marshall the magic. Didn't you work like a uh, 
juggalo gathering and people were throwing like forks at your head batteries and stuff. yeah me and marshall they warned they before we went out they're like you gonna heal out the only thing you shouldn't say is don't call them wiggers i'm like yeah okay i'm not gonna listen to you fucking we soon as we get out there marshall got hit with a uh either a double a battery or a bic lighter and marshall's like yo fucking wiggers and then they <laughs> i looked over and he was on the guardrail it looked like something from a zombie movie where the hands are coming through the windows and his fucking face is like it. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't even bite because they had his mouth stretched so far apart. Jeez. <laughs> fucking juggalo shows. Fucking juggalos, man. Have we talked lately about getting showers and car washes. I think I talked to Shima about M- Michael Paris, Joaquin Wild. Him and Mickey had hosed me down. You were there, too. I, I didn't think I was going to get booked, and I stayed out all night drinking. Norm was like, God, I might have an opening for you. You might have to wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> I had just come from, like, a bar. I didn't even know if I was going to show up, and I'm like, well, fuck me. So I said, we got to take a drastic measure here. Where's the nearest car wash? And this was, like, November. It was, like, <laughs> 23 degrees, and Shima was like, I'm sorry. Do you really want this? And I said, I need it. And then shows me down. And then I get there, and Norm's like, we don't need your services. And I'm like, well, at least I'm clean, you know? That's wow. the price you pay to wake up, right? It's <laughs> <laughs> a good story. That's good. Um, Flex, remember when we wrecked? She, she was in the car with us when we wrecked on the way to uh, West Virginia. After Jerome Bettis killed Brian Urlacher. I remember that. Was she in the car? I thought you were there. Maybe it was just me and you. We were leaving Marshall's house. We had to drive in all this ice and snow after. It was the game when uh, Jerome Bettis trucked Brian Urlacher. And then we went to Black Diamond and Flexor wrecked. Like, you didn't really wreck. You, like, we were going the around the one bend. Yeah, McArdle, and you smacked it. And then we just kept going. Like, fuck Oh, it. you didn't get very far. No. But, I mean, we didn't stop. We just kept going. Mm-hmm. It was like I was going. I slid on ice, bounced into the side, and just. Was... That was our Christmas time. There's a little Christmas story for you. Oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't feel a buzz for a while, and I knew it went well. Because <laughs> I can't get a second fucking break without my phone going. <laughs> it's Santa. He's always texting me like, "Hey, did you check the list? Did you check the list?" I'm like, "Yeah, I checked the list." Not naughty, not nice, but thick. There's a third list people don't know about. Did you guys know that Santa is the father of Jesus? Is that how it works? <laughs> I didn't read. I didn't I read heard that, that on. I was watching a show earlier. Hey, am I like a tape delay over there? A little bit, just a <laughs> tiny bit, a tiny bit. <laughs> oh, is that the uh, cover for nudity? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I can hit the button in case you say anything Where's really the button at? crazy. Uh, there's lots of buttons over here. Yeah, show us the button. <laughs> Let's tie his hands up so he can't hit any buttons. Can no, you... just be on. Okay. Don't just be like stuck on Corey all night. Is the button. <clears throat> Let's play hot or cold. Is the button <laughs> big enough to fit inside your rectum? What? <laughs> Trick question. Trick Anything question. can fit inside his rectum. Oh, dude. What was it? No, he used enough. to put uh, D batteries in his urethra. Um, I got a question from, Gar- from uh, Gambino uh, for DeMarco. He says, I'm supposed to ask you about the time he was naked driving through his, his community. Oh, yeah, when we got thrown out of Martin's Ferry, he, uh, we, we didn't get to even put our clothes on. We had to drive home like half naked, the two of us. It was hot. <laughs> Wait, why didn't you have clothes on? <laughs> as soon as the match was over, we got taken to the locker room. Oh, you were, you were in your, your gear. Yeah, and okay. then like, we were in the locker room. We started changing, and they came up to us, the people running the show, and they were like, you got to get out like right now. And then the cops came in, and they were like, you got to go right now. And we were like... I was ready. I was like, ah, I didn't even take my clothes off. Marshall's all like, fucking lumberjack, like burly chested. He's like, let's fucking go then. And they followed us to like the lines and we left. And then me and Marshall just rode home like half naked. It was hot, man. Why was Marshall half naked? Well, Marshall I mean, like half took his gear off and they, we thought we could at least change. And then the cops were like, you got to get, they want you off the property. You got to go. Cause like they didn't, they kind of set us up to fuck us there, honestly. Cause like we didn't know. They didn't want us there. Mm-hmm. And Prick Diamond or whatever his name is who runs that thing, he was like, hey, it's going to be spicy. I'm going to put you guys in this main event. Uh. I wasn't in it. It was Mickey and Marshall against these two other assholes. And then 
I was like watching from the back, and all of a sudden I see Marshall in the crowd and like a fucking collar and elbow with this big fat broad who runs the place. And it looked like, did you ever see when the Japanese make those throwback Godzilla movies and it's like two dudes in suits crushing models of cities? Yeah. And they're in the fucking crowd and the, the chairs are like the cities and they're like, and Marshall wanted the chair and she was like, no. And he's like, give me the chair, you fucking bitch. <laughs> and then all hell broke loose. And we left and we went to the fucking locker room, thought we could change. Wait, wait, you weren't on the show, or... I was on a match earlier in the night. Okay. And some little prick fucking took a... Uh, there was this dude named Dan Sandwich who used to hand out sandwiches. Okay. Well, all his sandwiches were two pieces of bread with maybe a slice of cheese in the middle. So we're fighting through the crowd, and I am sh- I shit you not, someone took a sandwich and went, like, in my face like that. You got slapped with a sandwich. No, I got, like, uh... Do like, you remember in the 90s, it was, like, trendy, like, hit people with your palm in the nose? Like, that's what I got. Like, yeah. my nose was bleeding. It wasn't Palm even from us. He fucking sandwich. smashed me, and, oh, man, I, I I, tried to hit him, but I missed every time. Like, he had a little angel on his shoulder that day because it was like, whoop, whoop. like, every one, he was falling back, and he missed. And then my opponent pulled me back in the ring. Like, I, I look back on that stuff, and I'm like, I'm fucking lucky I didn't hurt somebody, man. Like, he, there was nothing but bread. I mean, two slices of white bread. It ain't brioche. It's going to go right through your fucking face. Like, there's nothing to it. Like... He knew what he was doing, too. He just wanted to give me that palm. And then they threw dog shit at me that one time, too, there. Who yeah. brings a fucking dog to a wrestling show? You can't bring it. You're not allowed. There was a dog in the front row of... Uh, uh, IWC, yeah. Unless no, it's like... No, no, no. no. There, was, there, there was somebody holding a small dog in the front row of uh, Fight that, Society like three months ago. Does that dude with the fucking dog still got tied IWC? I haven't no. seen him in a while. I don't while. think he does. Yeah, I remember when you said to cater to them. Like, they were like, oh, they buy like five tickets. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got an idea. Get your fucking dog out of here. Corey, I have a question for Corey. Mm-hmm. Have you ever had to, or what's the closest you've come to fighting a fan? Oh, hey, when you're, when you're finished, say I yield my time to Jimmy DeMarco because I have a story about Flexor fighting a fan. <laughs> I don't think uh, I've heard of this. I don't think I ever fought a fan. No, you never got that bad with, with somebody? No. I've had weird stuff we happen, but shuffle, like. never a fan. Jimmy, pass me one. But I'll let Tommy DeMarco. Give him the, the Hail Mary. Why, what did Flexer do? Can I light up a fucking cigarette in here? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any on me. I was going to Did you hear him mumble to himself? <laughs> no. No, no, no. <laughs> fucking, I was in the Battle Royal in Cleveland at AIW. And I'm in the Gauntlet for the gold. Stop. And I hear Flexor come out. And he had some real wild music. It was like Robert Palmer shit. And I'm in the corner getting stopped. I'm like, ah. And I look at Flexor, and I see him fucking jawjacking with this fan. Fucking fan shoves Flexor. Flexor was egging him on. He's like, come on, hit me, hit me. Fucking Flexor gets shoved, and he moves like a quarter of an inch mm. like this. And then he just, he didn't like, it wasn't hard. I mean, he just shoved this little motherfucker, and he just was gone. Like, I seen like him disappear into the road. That fan th- flew probably at least Two rows of chairs, but See my I think into the third. The was, it, was it like the Keith Lee uh, pounce on Adam Cole a couple weeks ago? Yeah, kind of it was situation? similar to that. Yeah. Like when Flexor shoved him to, his ponytail was like flipping around. Obscure ponytail. There's a video of that somewhere. I do remember seeing the video of it. I was happy. I was like, oh, it's the view I got. Uh, John Thorne's going to have to resurface that for us. The, the chest Flexor Master Collection. There you go. Where's your best ofs? <laughs> I'm waiting for Sorgatron Media to get it all. Oh, we we'll have to get one going. Well, we got Pasta Death Match. We you got can't... uh, we got the the big cage match with you and Marshall last year. Mm-hmm. So I mean, that's definitely in Do there. Do you need security cam footage from Heinz Field of the Steeler game where there was like a <laughs> fucking manhunt for him? I'm trying to remember. Did we already put the uh, the the muscle celebration on the Jimmy DeMarco DVD ages uh, ago? I remember we got a lot of shit for that though. Remember because really. Uh, your girl was a nun and ginger came out as a, a nun. lot of people not happy about that, was her, that. Oh. <laughs> like, that was her first and you did time that in, in and you did that in clearfield right nowadays you could do that and people probably wouldn't even give a shit but yeah, like you yeah. think hey madonna did a video there's all kinds of nun stuff but yeah but it was clearfield maybe like that's not that's not like in the city that's that's out there in the mountains like that is true because like we did some sexy ass moves and no one blamed bad an eyelash and she came out as a nun do you know <gasps> do you know who we wrestled hmm Whenever we, in, uh, <laughs> what's that? Future what's that? One, the muscle worshiping ceremony that yeah. led to a match with Bolin and Corey Futuristic. 
Yeah. That was when Chuck first started getting on our case. No, no, before that was the uh, tailgate takeover when he was like, I can't condone this. Well, you know what was before that? Oh, the uh, frying pan, yeah. <laughs> no, it actually was tailgate takeover started it in August 2011. And then after that was the frying pan cooking with flex Not, orange. I, I don't think many people know about tailgate takeover, too. No, it went under the no. fucking radar because Chuck did. Chuck actually helped our cause. We, the, the fact that he just tailgate takeover two happened, and he was like, "Fuck it, I don't care." He didn't cause a stink, and then like because he was so up in arms over the first one, it actually was the best like fucking publicity we could have got. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that, was, that was just you were going down to the Steelers games and doing doing the tailgate thing, right? Yeah, we'd hand. Out, I always would do that when I would go to Steeler games, whether I was with Flex or McChesney or somebody. I'd hand out. Fly, Norm used to give me them. I would do it all the time, and I'd hand out flyers. And at the end of the night, if the Steelers won, I would shake hands at the door like I was one of the Roonies, and I'd be like, "Yeah, good victory. Here you go." And I'd hand them a flyer. <laughs> if it was a hot girl, I'd hand her a dollar or two, or I would keep my receipt from the beer with my number on it, and I'd hand it to her, and I'd be like. And then one time, I remember I handed this one girl. She's so hot. And I'm like, ah, I'm reaching here. I can't pull this girl. And all of a sudden, I see her come walking back, and she's like, is this your phone number? And I'm like, yeah, you could have just texted me. And she's like, well, my boyfriend would rather talk to you. And I fucking just ran because the guy was like six foot nine. And I was like, hey. Um, Let's see. Uh, Billy's, Billy's in the chat room. Billy oh. Johnson. He says to ask you, uh, oh, Jimmy shit. and Flexer, about the adventures of Knuckles and the limo rides. Knuckles was cool. His brother, what, was, what did we name his brother? Sledge or something or something. <laughs> Knuckles was awesome. He was Billy's old limo driver. But then on uh, Tailgate Takeover, it wasn't Knuckles. If you watch the video from Tailgate Takeover 1, he's the one I'm dry humping when he's not looking. <laughs> when Flexor puked, he, he used a terrible towel to wipe up the vomit because he was a fucking Browns fan. Not me. No. Slept. Somebody puked and Knuckles used a terrible towel. No, I mean, no, not yeah. anti-Knuckles yeah. or whatever his name was. <laughs> Anti-Knuckles. He was a prick, man. He really was an asshole. Moose Knuckle. Moose Knuckle. <laughs> He was such a rap bastard. He was like, uh, yeah, I'm a brown suit. We're going to kick your ass. We're going to kick your ass. Hey, buddy. 16 years later. God, that I got like... to ask you, how's that dick taste? Because <laughs> our fucking B team beat you guys a couple weeks ago. Oh, we got the fuck. They were anointing them fucking Super Bowl champions. And guess what? Yeah, we lost Big Ben. We lost Juju. We lost James Conner. We lost to it. All these injuries. You got an all-star fucking team. Well, guess what? Lube it and then go like this. So we, I, I, I did find the footage of tailgate, <laughs> tailgate takeover two. <laughs> tailgate takeover two. Bowler. Yeah, there it is. If you if you type in uh, uh, tailgate takeover two IWC, and uh, there's just people jogging. I don't know. What's yeah, happening? look at the asses. There the audio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was a there was a clip there of uh, chess flexor when he visited the Tigers in Thailand. Apparently, uh, <laughs> what is <this> happening? <laughs> Roar! Oh no, I can pull the audio Tell up here. Takeover two. Yeah. Bowler. There it is. Oh no, I can't do that. <laughs> um. <laughs> when there's just like clips of like lions attacking people. It's Brian the lion. Brian the lion. <laughs> Jeez. Well, you know what? The Steelers aren't the Pirates aren't the Steelers, so you know. <laughs> There's Billy the guys with Billy in the back of the limo. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. Uh anyways. Let me check in with the chat room here. Uh see what's going what on. Are the questions, if you guys have any we questions? questions. We've had a few questions. Marshall and Billy had a few for sure. Corey Futuristic needs a good question. Uh, Co- Corey Futuristic. Yes. <laughs> what are you doing in 2019? In 2019? No, in 2020. Yeah, what are you doing in the last 15 well, days of 2019? Planning on killing as many people as... No, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, this is the end of the decade, actually. Yep. And Out of the teens. Yeah. We're out of the teens. I'm disappointed. Of the teens? Or are you disappointed with the teens? Or you're disappointed with... It being over. I'm disappointed with the team. Yeah, we're just generally okay, boomer. <laughs> what the hell, oh, Jimmy? What are you doing? Don't worry about Jimmy. With okay. The tigra splash water on me. I'm taking a second to regenerate here. I okay. Know. All right. Lamigra, what are you doing over there? Does anybody have a question for Lamigra Mencia Ramos? There you go. 
Hey, Sorg, it's a good thing you got hardwood floor here, because if I shit myself, man, <laughs> it'll make the cleanup a lot it, easier. It did get messy a couple of years ago when we did this, so. Nah. Yeah, what a little happened? bit. A oh, little man. bit. What, oh, what man. Ch- chest? I don't know. I don't remember much of the night. Hey, there's uh, hookers so. down at the Alpine. We can go Dude. grab a couple and get messy. You, know? you want I mean, two just, years ago? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's go. <get> some. <laughs> he fucking cut off me when I was giving the. the... You got Actually, watch this. What are you doing? Sometimes it just goes sideways in my one eye, and I can't. I don't want. I just, you know, sometimes you just want to get. Who's that? Out. He's coming in. <laughs> let me, let me stop him. Oh. Yeah, don't don't invite him. Don't random worry. people. I do have my license to carry on me, but I'm not strapped. I didn't think it was Christmas parties. Don't really want to bring a gun because I mean sometimes you get. <laughs> You get like so overcome with the spirit, you just want to fucking give a couple of fires off in the air for baby Jesus. Like, pop, 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 pop. Should we do some Russian roulette? What? What? Tokyo taxi driver, loser of Russian roulette, instead of getting shot in the head, has to do the Tokyo taxi driver. I think the, <laughs> uh, the winner should get that. Hey, yeah, it's winning and losing's in the eye of the beholder. So, <laughs> hey, what's with the questions? I'm yeah, working on, on the questions here in the chat room. Uh, Chess, do you have, a, do you have any questions for Corey? Yes, I have a question for Corey. Future. Okay. This table's not uh, very balanced. I guess no, I'll, it isn't. It's not letting me do my match. What do you think was your favorite slash best match of 2019? I have no idea. Oh, man. I don't know. How about you, I can't even think. Who, so who, who, was you, who do you think out of the, your whole career, who was your favorite opponent to wrestle? Mm, Brooklyn Brawley. He's pretty awesome. No, mm-hmm. Brawley, uh, Bushwhacker. Uh, Luke. Oh, that's Luke, right. Yeah. You're the Bushwhacker, Luke. Yeah. You wanted to go longer, but. <laughs> really? Yeah, I was like. Oh. And you were like, take it home, bet? That's what she I, said. He wanted to go 15 minutes. So I'm like, uh, I only got like 10 minutes in me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how old is Bushwhacker, Luke? He's like 70, and he like can't really bump, so. But like, he wanted to he, go. He did bump, but like. One he of those ones where, like, yeah, like, you barely fall or whatever, so it was all right. I mean, just a lot of bushwhacking and yeah. headlocks. He, like, bit my ass and stuff. Really? So. <laughs> <laughs> so. You know, I, I bit Corey Futuristic's ass, like, a month ago. I don't uh, know if you remember yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Was it all in the f- ring or? It was in the ring. It was in the ring. Yeah, yes. all facing, uh, uh, yeah, the... The Board of Education, mm-hmm. Rodin and Survivor. The Board of Education. Yeah. <laughs> what? What's your guys' favorite movies of 2019? <laughs> Hold on a second. I think we're on to something here because I, I know Jimmy is not up on on the on the latest wrestlers out there. Oh no, I do actually. I'm do? all. I'm kind of like Santa. I'm always watching. You're, you're always watching, so you're, you're aware of the Board of Education. <laughs> yeah, I just love the name. I like the. I love the dude who's like the principal looking guy. Like I was watching with the one show, and he was a trainee. Because sometimes I just watch people; and they don't know I'm watching in the back. Like especially if I have sunglasses on, <laughs> I'm just always watching. And I was like, man, this guy really looks like a fucking principal. I love it. <laughs> and then I saw the one match you were advertised, and you were a part of the board of education. Yes. <laughs> Wait, you were a, you were a part of it? I was Coach Flexor. You were Coach Flexor. Where was that at? I was the gym teacher. <laughs> nice. That makes sense. Ginger was the librarian before there were other librarians. No. Wrestling. Ginger was a librarian before. Really? Hey, when, when your parents sits in front of you like this, with the chair like this. Nobody can see your chair. You know they're going to ask you. There it is. Who's giving you the marijuana? <laughs> Chuck Roberts, my old high school. When I first met Chuck Roberts, gee, yeah, this is an old throwback. Cause uh, yeah, I'm old. Uh, you know uh, what is that called? Dangerous Minds, the Michelle Pfeiffer, <laughs> Gangsta's Paradise. <laughs> Chuck Roberts used to work for the Art Institute and used to have to go to high schools and talk. Mm-hmm. Me and Chuck had known each other for like three years, but we'd just been friends. So I said to him. Hey, did you ever go to Brashear? And he's like, Jesus Christ, yeah, I had to go through metal detectors. I was so worried. It's like Dangerous Minds with Michelle Pfeiffer. And I'm like, yeah, you're kind of like a hot white bitch. You are like Michelle Pfeiffer. And he's like, you son of a bitch. You don't know what it's like in there. I'm like, I went there for four years. And he was like, oh, oh, okay. And after that, he started being nice to me because I think he thought I was going to shank him or something. <laughs> he realized you were a city kid. Yeah. 
Remember when we saw trying to be friends with Chuck when we first started, and he was like, "Shut up, and put the ring up." <laughs> and I then I romanced him the night before Thanksgiving. Should I be unprofessional and chew these nuts into the microphone? It's is it unprofessional to chew nuts or is it seductive as hell? Nibble a little bit. A little bit of ASMR there. I mean, somebody out there is going. Hold on, get, wait. Somebody out there is getting the feels. Wait. Mukbang. Let me. You guys watch mukbangs? Chew these nuts. Uh, my girlfriend always watches mukbangs. These like people eating. I'm like, you're watching somebody eat. Do you watch a sword? No. They're just it's on YouTube. Close it's just eyes. people eating. Like, what do I want to watch somebody Pull eat? Pull the for? covers up over your head. I can't. I'm shadow banned on YouTube on uh, Imagine Instagram I'm laying again. With you. Again, the shadow banned. Wait, shadow banned? Yeah. You don't know about shadow banning? I, I don't think this it's is a my way. fourth oh, go around with the shadow ban. I'm shadow banned. Okay. But it's okay for somebody to go on YouTube and be 450 pounds and eat themselves to death, right? You're not going to shadow because they're making money off that. You can make money if I would go on YouTube every day. I work out pretty much every day. If I would post rippling disgusting sweaty moist pictures of my body they wouldn't be shadow banning me but they shadow ban me because i put a picture of a girl big boobs wearing a frosty outfit with a um frosty's nose by her by her uh, clitoris she's like i'm snow tran la migla look who's here oh incoming oh no la migla la oh, migla no. If Jimmy D posted a picture of himself all sweaty and bulging, would you would you heart his oh, Instagram Oh, I know how post? the algorithms work. When I post half nudes, I get a lot of likes. <laughs> I get a lot of likes. But I don't want to feed them. So you know what I mean? you got to, like, sprinkle the breadcrumbs. I believe in the breadcrumb. You know what I mean? Oh, I know. I'm out here. You know. You're out here. We're working out. You know what's under those clothes. Here's a little sprinkle. Come follow. Come follow. La Migla! Not even close! <laughs> There's some beer tossing happening. Do you want to open that one? <laughs> Can I trade it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, let me try this. Up. Trade no, that up. Get... Trade that up. I didn't want to interrupt because Jimmy was in the middle of something. So. <laughs> Can I jump in here? Yeah, Corey, go for it. Corey did ask a good question I would like the answers so, uh, to. Hmm. Good to see mm. you. Everyone's favorite movie of 2019. Sorg, what are your what's your favorite? Uh, was the fish fucking movie in this one? Lighthouse. Is that the no no Shape of Water? Oh no, I didn't see that. There's another one with fish fuckers. Shape of cold water skin. Did you guys see Cold Skin? Was, did not see Cold Skin. Shape of Water like two years. And ago? you guys yeah, got shot. Like Shape of two water years ago? I don't know. What the fuck's wrong? Do any of you guys got <laughs> Shutter? What year is this? If you watch Shutter, if you got Shutter, look up uh, Cold Skin. No. This dude comes to take over the lighthouse, and this is already an old white dude running the lighthouse. He's fucking the creature from the Black Lagoon. I think that's Lighthouse, isn't it? The yeah, it's lighthouse. like they're like very similar, the two of them, except one's in color and one's in black and white. Okay. Batman's in the black and white one, future Batman, who needs to get fucking jacked. He needs to start eating. You gotta eat big to get big, right? Flex. What, the next Batman or? or yeah, Pattinson, yeah. man. He needs He's to put some fucking weight on his on chest. Weight. Yeah, yeah, did you see that? Yeah. But come on, dude. But the guy come from on. Silicon Valley is doing fine. How many Who, CCs are... Oh, ball. yeah, he should do a cycle, man. Come on, you're in Hollywood. There's no comp competitive nature there. Stallone can do it. You can. Hey, did you see Rambo 5? Yeah, I was really disappointed with that. Why? Why were it you was, disappointed? I don't know, man. Did you see Dial Code Santa Claus? What? There's a movie on Shudder. It came out a year before Home Alone. It's called Dial you, Code you Santa Claus. You on Shudder is like me on Disney+. Plus. Dude, seriously. This movie, it's about a little boy nine years old. He's uh, fucking rich. He has a mullet. He's a Sylvester Stallone enthusiast. A crazy Santa breaks in his house to rape him and kill him. He fights back. He sees his little dog, JR, get stabbed by Santa, and he thinks it's the real Santa. He's got a microphone system through his house because it's a mansion. He's like, yeah, even though you're Santa, you're going to fucking know what fear is now. Remember at the end of Rambo 5 when mm -hmm. he's like, oh, yeah, Rambo, a little nod to Dow Code Santa Claus there. He's like, you, you see me, I see you. Mm -hmm. I could have fucking killed you a hundred times. You killed my Spanish daughter. Now I'm going to kill you. It was, it was like Rambo versus Mexico, wasn't it? it? Dude, yeah. hey, here's the thing. I had this conversation with Balk Nasty. They were like, oh, it was conservative porn, build the wall, blah, blah, blah. Well, the flip side of that is if that wall was built, Rambo couldn't have came and went at will and fucking killed the cartel like that. Because he gets mm. the one cartel, dude. He's in bed holding his ding-dong with his head missing. And then it cuts to Rambo on the highway like, whoo, it goes the head. It serves a purpose. 
May I jump in here? I don't, I don't dare interrupt. Go, go ahead. Get on the mic. Oh, get, get on, on the mic. Get on. Sit on bring Jimmy's the yo- Bring the no, yoga ball over. No, you can share. You can share. You can share. I heard Santa fucked you again. What? what? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Did you have another run in with Santa this year? Two years of getting choke slammed by Santa Claus. What? The first one was your fault because you, you you threw me to the wolves. Santa wouldn't do business, so we had to get him drunk to, to, to fight LaRusso. That's true. <laughs> he was the first Santa. Yeah. Santa was like, oh, I don't know if I can do this. And LaRusso was like, come on, man. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. The mic's cut. Yeah, yeah, you got, you got to flip the switch on the mic. Oh, what do I do? It's on this side. It's on this side, probably. On this side? Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. He's yeah. decided that spot. It gets bumped. I want to get to it gets bumped. There you go. Share with it. Share, Corey, share with them. There it is. Is it? Are you there? So we got, so go. like, we give uh, Santa a couple icy lights, and he's like, <laughs> he is dead now. He's, he's like, dead. I think I can do this. So then I felt bad. Like, I don't even think I ever told Chris this. <laughs> he goes out to the, he's out at the ring, and I went up to Santa. I'm like, you got to understand, man, there's a lot of kids out there. If you pussy out on this, and you half ass this, and it looks like shit. Because LaRusso did, to his credit, he told him before he went out, he's like, man, fucking drill me, Santa. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I told Santa, I'm like, he might be afraid because you're Santa. You got to give it to him. So shotgun the spear with me real quick. Right before I went out, Santa came up to me and he's like, "I'm fucking ready. I've never been more ready." Santa was yoked. He was ready yeah. to go. The wait. Russo jumped his ass off, but Santa put some fucking strength in. Wait, that. wait, wait. Isn't isn't there a little bit of truth? I don't know if this is true or not, but I heard that Santa might have had his own special sack of snow with him. Oh, he always does. It's frosty. Uh, the, the only reason I was actually walking by here on Broadway. Ticklish. Um, <laughs> ticklish. No, not ticklish. Sport, I'm, I'm not ticklish. You want to get it? You want to get it? I, I ruined the mic? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Well, then here, I, while you're... Here, bring your mouth right down here. here. Oh, right here? Right here? All right. Okay. While, um, while, while Sorg fixes the mic, um, I have told this story on the podcast before, but I don't think Jimmy has ever been here to give his side of the story. <sighs> Yep. Do you recall the time that Joe Dombrowski was set on fire in the back seat of the car on the way to... <laughs> yeah, dude, actually, we talked right, about this before we went on the oh. air. Oh, she should be back. When check, check, check. There you go. This, when we were talking about the uh, To Catch a Predator. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Before we went on the air, we talked about this. We didn't talk about it on the air. But no, the I have told this story before, but Jimmy and I were in the back seat with Dombrowski, and we're late because Facade was driving. And uh, so... Well, I'll let you, uh, after you uh, take a bump, uh, I'll let you tell your side of, uh, of uh, Joe Dombrowski uh, setting on fire. Were you in the front seat? No, I was, uh, Hentai was in the uh, Oh, co-pilot. yeah, Facade's Hentai. driving, Hentai's in the front, I'm behind Facade, Dombrowski's riding bitch, LaRusso's to his right, and uh, we're trying to like <laughs> hurry up and get there, and all of a sudden, I knew something was up, because I could see... Facade didn't have his hands at like the 10 and 12 position or whatever you call it. And He's driving with his knees. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, I see what's coming. Dombrowski's giving me the rundown of stuff that he wants. And all of a sudden, dude, I I was looking out the window. I thought the air conditioner malfunctioned because that's how big the flame was. It was like, <laughs> a wall and of me fire. And the Russo, both on each side, are like, oh, fuck. And Dombrowski, he eats it because there's nowhere he can go. And he's like, and he's like, Okay, I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> He's like, well, no, you, you and me were contributed to put the fire out by chopping <laughs> yeah. him in the face. I took my, <laughs> yeah, Bruce was using his hand chopping, and I took my hat off, and I'm whacking like, and I was like, holy fuck, pull over, and Facade's just giggling, and Hentai's laughing, and I'm like, oh shit, he had flash paper. And then Dombrowski's like, I got this shirt in England. <laughs> there's this huge, England. There's, there's a, this huge scorch mark down yeah. the front of his shirt. I did like the shirt didn't burn, but it scorched. It was yeah. Egyptian, Egyptian. The silk. flame came back, fucking mighty. And then, I mean, like Sean Phoenix, fucking mighty. And then mm-hmm. it, when it hit the the polyester material, whatever it was, it caught, and it was like Dombrowski was on fire yeah, for about was, five seconds. So, yeah, yeah. He, he was not happy. <laughs> the, but my, we were car, going like, to his show. Stung. We were going to his show, by the way. Oh, we Facade going... could light the promoter on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt the show, so I I, I won't stay too much you, longer. But hey, I... tell him about. Were you in the car when Facade beat the police? Remember when he was driving? We used to always d- debate this. I mean, it's like ten years old, so we can talk about it now. Right. If a cop Wait, on the highway... Is there a lawyer around? Can we talk about that? I, I, I might need statute another limitations yeah, has Statute of limitations has passed. What are we talking about here? You're yeah. driving down the highway doing 90, and it's like 65. 
that cop has to take a little bit to catch you, right? Mm-hmm. He can't just accelerate. He's not in a fucking DeLorean. So anyway, we would always say, get off the nearest exit and fucking hide. That's the plan. So if Asa was driving with a suspended license and the cop pulled out, I'm and shocked he and appalled. started going even faster. I remember Shima woke up and was like, what the fuck's going on? And he's like, just past the cop, getting off. Got off the exit, pulled over. Everybody kind of like fell asleep. Wait, wait, was it, were lights on coming at him? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he got, got away. It was like true. Burt Reynolds somewhere, like, both sat out in bed. Smokey and, and the like, Bandit? God, Burt Reynolds sat and did the gold dust. Because like, <sighs> he was alive back then. It was 10 years ago. Because anytime you can beat a cop, Burt Reynolds gets an orgasm. That's an unwritten law. I have actually one other qu- real quick story about. Uh, it actually was Shima uh, asleep, uh, asleep in a car. Surprise, surprise. It was. Uh, he was in the co. I was driving. He was in the co-pilot. Gory and Fasada are in the back seat, and he's like asleep up against the uh, the passenger door. And I see like Fasada get up and start to go for the handle of the door. I'm like, what the hell is he doing? We're going like sixty down the the highway. He opens the door. <laughs> Shima's not buckled in and starts falling out of the car. I reach over and I grab him, and he wakes up like. Halfway out the car, with uh, uh, he he comes to almost hitting the the uh, falling out of the car going sixty. Can I double down on that story and Please. tell you an, one of my own sure. that involves someone that might be sitting next to me right now? So we're in the ring truck. Marshall Gambino's driving. Jimmy's sitting, bitch. I'm sitting <laughs> in the passenger seat, but we're not sitting in the seats. Jimmy and I are kneeling, facing each other. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, go go ahead. So we're playing hot hands. Nobody's buckled in. Marshall's going about eighty miles an hour down the road in the ring truck. In the ice truck. Ice in the ring. Seven? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I remember. That. We're playing hot hands. So for those of you who don't know what hot hands is, it's a game. We're playing Chinese hot hands. That's not racist. We're regular. Oh hot hands. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've... This and then get. The... Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, I've, yeah, I've done this. Sometimes you, get... you oh, have yeah. to like the biggest misconception is that you have to do both. Same time. No, just like one. we're just this is this is mock hot hands. When we really go full hot hands on the road, man, we're like talking like <laughs> it looks like Barry Allen going back in time. So anyway, we're both kneeling facing each other. Marshall's Bye. driving about eighty miles an hour down the road in the ring truck, and during this game of hot hands, uh, the, the heated game, we're we're one for one pretty much, steady. No one wants to jump. No one wants to jerk. We'll take the hits. Mm-hmm. Next thing I know. Jimmy gives me like this weird look and just reaches, grabs the door handle of the truck, opens it up and just grabs my shirt and shoves me back out of the door. <laughs> oh my God. But holds on to me so I don't die. Yeah, I wouldn't let you go. I had you Marshall back. starts swerving because he doesn't know what's going on. And this is in the ring truck, right? Yeah, he's in the like, ring truck. Motherfucker! <laughs> Jimmy pulls me back in. The door's still open. And then it takes me to, to reset my bearing, get my bearings straight. And then I have to turn the bearing behind me, shut the door. And then I always thought if I fell out of a car going fast enough, if I don't even try and run, if I just ragdoll, I'll be okay. Just cover my head. Well, you, you know? didn't tell him that. Well, no, because I, I had him. I wouldn't let him go. If he did, I'd, I'd like, go with him, and we'd both die together. Would you just yell ragdoll? Well, I mean, I don't know. We would cross hopefully hopefully we instinct would take a- Hey, listen, uh, I didn't want to interrupt because this is an STD's party. I was uh, walking by. I had to say hello. <laughs> Am I an uh, honorary STD? I've never Honor- really been officially one, but well, I've you were in that. Uh, the, you you hired us the promotional video. Yeah. So I'll just say this real quick. Uh, I gotta say that Jimmy DeMarco is an absolute legend in Pittsburgh. <laughs> no, no, I, and I, I, he's drunk. So so whether he accepts this or not <laughs> I'm is not, not true. Drunk. <laughs> oh, uh, he's an absolute legend. Uh, not just the stories about him, but the matches he's had. Uh, I fucking love the STDs. I love Corey. I love uh, I love Chest. It's always a pleasure to be kicked really hard or to uh, be put in some <laughs> awkward. Uh... Hey, I heard you fucked up Balk Nasty. Yeah, maybe. Look at this guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, he's a bad mother. He he Stiff split up. Motherfucker, up. man. So, Larissa, so why are you leaving so fast? You want to get fucked up with the Sorgatron? Well, no, I don't want to. This is your party, man. Come on, I man, just... drink and drive. <laughs> No, nah, I, I I don't. First of all, I took your seat, and that was rude of me. So I got no I man. Get... There's enough seats to go around. If we run out, Sorg's lap is right up on deck, baby. No, no, hey, you guys want to hear some good Christmas stuff? Tell them about the old IWC Christmas parties. Oh man, you mean at the where... the first one I went to was at uh... what the hell is that? 
place. The statue of limitations is also probably Club? passed on this. Yes, the Baltimore house. Oh, I remember that. Is that fashion around it? Through that yeah, door, through, door. through so the, the black door in the back. You'll Isn't see. that that's near where the school is now, right? Uh, like the storage minutes, unit, it's kind of? a little, little bit away, but it's it's close enough. Like, yeah, on, like you're going. Yeah, it's right by there. Yeah, close enough. It's got, there's a there's a Bruce Lee thing outside, isn't there? Am I thinking about the same place? It's got like a I statue. So. Yeah, I think so. it's on the. If you're going down the hill, it's on the right side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah what happened there? I mean, nothing too crazy. That was my first. So whenever, like, probably the first or second year of my training, we had we used to have these like lavish parties, and by lavish, I mean rent out the back room of the Baltimore house. It was sketchy. There's probably drugs being done in the kitchen and. The, the food was subpar, but we all had a good time. We hung out. Uh, I remember that was the first time I met a lot of the Pittsburgh guys that weren't with IWC, so that was pretty interesting. I had a, a, the first ever wrestling Christmas party with, that I was a part of was with uh, KCW, which was Cato's first fed. That was the company that I broke in with. Uh, Keystone Championship Keystone wrestling? Championship Wrestling. And do you guys remember Calvin McGrath? Of course. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, I, I posted a bunch of those old matches from RWA, and there's some big Calvin McGrath fans. Somebody asked me for a best of DVD. Really? Yes. And Interesting. The, and I said, you're the only one that wants it, so it's going to be very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so we are at a, uh, a bar in Altoona, Pennsylvania called Zach's. Mm. And Calvin at the time was on um, supplements and alcohol. Protein? Mm. Uh, yeah, very, 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 very strong protein. Uh, mm. The kind of protein that can that can make you angry and opinionated and, and intense. So we didn't realize this, but apparently Calvin had been shut off at this bar before for, for causing a fight. Mm-hmm. So we're all in there. We're getting our drinks, and, like, we see the bouncers square off with Calvin. Like, they're ready to fight him. And so we all get up, and, and then he realizes that there's a group, and the bouncers throw us all out. We have to go, go to another bar. But as we're getting thrown out, I'm trying to be real diplomatic, like, okay, we're leaving, we're leaving. Calvin grabs me by the arm, picks me up off the ground with one arm. Like, again, he was on a lot of supplements then. <laughs> Shakes me at the bouncer and screams, This is my lawyer! <laughs> and I'm just like... Hi, what's up? Uh, yeah, we're leaving. We're leaving. And it was... Uh, and Calvin's a big dude. He's... Again, you know... He was probably, I guess, a Wardlow size, maybe? Maybe a little bigger than maybe Wardlow. Maybe a little bigger was, than Wardlow, yeah. yeah. But again, again, he was on He was on some pretty strong supplements. Mm-hmm. You know? Mexican supplements. Hey, <laughs> when I was young, I used to fucking uh, come to this place before it was Sorgatron Stronghold. We were, we, so what was this place before? It was an Asian market. Okay, Really? For real, yeah. Is that why we have a loading zone, like, stripe up here? Yeah. I would go up to the counter, and uh, I would... My friends would always harass the woman who didn't speak that much English. I never... I truly never did that. I didn't like messing with people who didn't speak English. Because I thought it was insanely hot when women couldn't speak English. Because I would be like, Oh, I would like to hear what words come out of your mouth when you orgasm. I can can Um, concur with this, yeah. When you consensually orgasm. Let me say that clear. You know what I mean? Like, because, like, I don't understand. Some people are big into that, like, anal porn stuff. Like, ah! Like, I don't want to hear, ah! I want to hear, like, oh. That's what yeah. sex is. You know what I mean? That's what Christmas is. Christmas is, like, <laughs> Christmas is all about the, oh! Not the, ah! Unless you get a gift you really want, and you're like, Nintendo 64! Ah! I, I love Nintendo or, 64. Or if you get your fucking sim being flicked with a tongue, like, and they're like, ah! <laughs> then it's all fucking gravy, you know? <laughs> and that's when, we all lear- that's when we all learn the true meaning of Christmas. That's Corey, right. Corey, if you had three questions that you don't know the answer to that you could ask Jimmy Delicious, what would they be? He's sitting right next to you. Tell them about your offer from WWE. Oh, man. Like, way back. I never had an offer from WWE. I, I never thought you did. shit from WWE. No, I no, thought they, like, me. called you and said, like, <laughs> you stop told me doing that, hardcore yeah. shit or something. And maybe no, like, I remember you. people giving me advice back when I actually was, like, 
when I was like AIW champ, people were like, no, did that got a lot of recognition when I was AIW champ. Probably because I was working with, a, like, Thorne and Pickens put me with Drake, and he was really hot at the time. Drake Younger. And, yeah, and everybody, like, would tell me anybody worth it, anything would be like, stop doing hardcore stuff. You're going to fucking ruin your reputation. I mean, like, I don't know. Maybe it did. Maybe it didn't. But that was like everything with AIW back then, right? And, and kind not of not really. Not really. No, they had it? a little bit of everything. No. Like they always. Like, they never. Wait, that's oh, that, that, was just, that was just that was just that was just the DVDs that Jimmy sent me then. No, no, yeah. yeah like AIW yeah, always yeah. got that rap of being like hardcore. They had a lot they had of every, stuff. They always were. Mm-hmm. They were ahead on the women curve before anybody. They, they were ahead on inter- inter- they were ahead on intergender before anyone. Yeah, intergender like Thorne and Haley. I remember Thorne took so much shit for working with Haley. And now they wrestled look, in a, a dog collar match and the barbed wire yeah, match. He, I and mean, I know was way ahead of its time. We're trying to like stick up for them to not only be violent, but that was the like two top intergender matches at the time. Well, yeah, and I mean, really, like, what is wrestling when you really think about it? Mm-hmm. It's the suspension disbelief. It's making people go like, okay, I know it's predetermined, but fuck, man, maybe that guy's really hurt. You know, what I mean? maybe that's really real. And 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 a lot of that. When you do, when you can mix it being entertaining, get a laugh out of it, and then, mm-hmm. like Roger Rabbit always said, this guy won't rap me out because I made him laugh. If you can make somebody care about you enough to like laugh a little bit, then when you're gushing blood and you're, <laughs> you're gonna be like, fuck man, I, I, I like that guy. I when you and Jake, uh, you and Drake Younger walked back into the locker room, literally all you could smell anywhere was blood because that's uh, how bloody <laughs> both you guys were. He fucking uh, stapled the shit out of me because he's. Two blondes in the front row. I swear that was why they were cheering for me. And, and he was like, anywhere he went, he was the greatest baby face ever. And there was only only women. There. Like, anywhere I ever went, only only people who would ever cheer for me were like derelicts and women. Um, he stapled the fuck out of me. And I remember taking the dollar off and I couldn't get the staple out. It turned into a unicorn horn. Because unfortunately, the one end of the staple hooked. Ooh. So I was trying to play it off like I wasn't panicking. I cut my promo and we got backstage. And at first, it was Flexor... Mike Paris and Facade. And I said to Flexor right away, I'm like, get this fucking staple out of my head, please. Like, please help me get the staple out of my head. Remember when you tried to pull on it? It would not come the fuck out. It was, it was like in there. In did, there. did you use like the wrong staples or something? We yeah, used... we used real ones. <laughs> <laughs> like, we used oh, full blown big ones. You're, oh, so you're supposed to use like shorter ones. No, we, right? weren't, we weren't paper clipping. We were, we were firing. Yeah. yeah. He, uh, <laughs> and Flex, I remember Fat Nick tried to pull it out, Nick Brashear, and he couldn't get it. So Flex, what did you use? Like pliers or something? We used like, I think a screwdriver to start prying it out. Yeah, yeah. Pliers Drake to... helped a little bit because, I mean, he wasn't a prick. Like he felt bad. You had to basically, it was like a puzzle. Like bend it? Like, yeah, you had to go this way and then out like that. I mean, I still have like signs of the, uh, my daughter calls them dents in my head. Little does she know. Do you, do... You don't, if you don't mind me asking, does your does your daughter know much of your uh, wrestling history? No, like sometimes when we run into Ray Lynn at fucking Walmart out in Robinson, I'm always like, hey, she's a wrestler too, because my kid obviously likes wrestling, wants to wrestle. Every once in a while, she's met, like she's getting older now, she's six, so she'll mess around on YouTube. She came across a video of me and Ray Rowe where I'm like gushing blood, and she's like, you're just having fun, right? I'm like, yeah, I'm having a blast, man, like. Wise kid. I was in a car accident a couple weeks ago in Southside, and uh, I was bleeding. I'm just sitting there like, the guy who hit, he hit us in a dump truck. I was in a dump truck, he ran the red light, and he hit us. He had a two-year-old little girl in the car with him. My head's just bleeding, and cops get there in the ambulance. I'm like, I'm concussed, I can tell you right now. (laughs) I know know when I'm concussed easier than I know when I'm drunk. And there's Blair like, well, you're going to need stitches because I had a cut up here on top of my head. I'm like, why don't you check the two-year-old little girl? I'll be okay. And meanwhile, in my head, I'm like, I'm so fucked up. I, I know. Man, I don't buy that fucking CTE stuff. Like, if CTE was real, why, why isn't Jim Brown out there killing people? Wait, are you saying that CTE is a myth? I think, okay, you guys know, any of you guys familiar with uh, the greatest American soldier ever, Steve Rogers? Of course. When they gave him the super soldier serum, what did it do? It made a great man greater. But when they gave the Red Skull the super soldier serum, what did it do? It made a fucking Nazi a super Nazi. What I'm trying to say is if you've got evil in you and in your heart, if you bust something loose up there, you're opening that back door in the Mm. fucking Satan's Mm. playground. But if you like to fuck, if you like to lick the clip, if you like to pound some beer sometimes, if you like to listen to fucking gangster rap, 
We like to get a little high. Yeah, I agree. Then guess what? Hmm. If you crack hmm. that CTE button, all you're doing is unlocking the 12-strand DNA. Because, like, are, nice you, words. are you really telling me that Chris Benoit killed his family just because he had a bunch of concussions? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. If that's the case, he's, how many dudes have He's a have fucking you? nut job. Yeah. How many NFL players are talking? Why <laughs> haven't we had a mass murderer from the NFL yet? Why? That's true. It's a, it's yeah. a, you got to have a unique cocktail there. You know what I mean? If it's, hmm. if it's concussions, how many fucking concussions does the average dude have? I mean, we can go to a Buffalo Bills game and watch people go through tables every week, and they're going to have, like, 50. You're talking to me... Fucking pseudoscience, crazy shit. I have more faith in Dr. Banner getting pissed and turning into a green Goliath than I do in these assholes talking about the human brain. So you, you don't you don't think Will Smith uh, was right when he was talking about concussion? Fuck Will Smith! <laughs> he doesn't even believe in God! He believes in Xenu the alien! He ain't gonna tell me about my fucking brain! <laughs> How many concussions does Will Smith have? Mm-hmm. Until he oh, tell you, he probably's had fucking zero unless he banged his head off the wall while blowing DJ Jazzy's Jeff. He can kiss my ass, Will Smith. Will Smith, you're gone. You're dead to me because you're a Scientologist. Tom Cruise, I fucking love you and I hate what you've done. You're unforgivable. You're gone. John Travolta, I can get you back. If you give me a night with Travolta, you let me start the night off with some ZD. And then we go and we watch Dark Knight Rises. Underrated. We watch uh, Days of Glory. Tom, Cru- Tom Cruise, there you go. So you got to get in his head. You got to get his boy in there. Take him to a strip club. Give him a little blow. Get him wild! And Tom, Tom Cruise is going to be like, or John Travolta is going to be like, fuck Tom Cruise. I love Jesus. I'm back. I'm fucking back. <laughs> he's, he's a Dago. Corey, he's in. what's that John Travolta movie you said that I need to watch that just came Directed out? Directed like... by Fred Durst. Oh. Uh, Travolta's what? got Directed power. Directed by Fred Durst. The, the, <laughs> the fan. It's on uh, Amazon Prime for free. Oh. Uh, pretty much John Travolta is some like, it's like a crazed wrestling fan. Like he's not, a, <laughs> he's not a wrestling fan, but he's just like obsessed with this celebrity. Hey, what was the name of that crazy wrestling fan who used to come to the show TTT? TTT. <laughs> I thought you were going to say King Frown. You remember whenever uh, we paid off TTT <laughs> to sneak in the van and, and fuck with Chuck Roberts? Yeah, we were at a truck stop and TTT needed Oh, uh, I've heard this one. Yep. I don't remember your talking We were about. like, hey, if you, uh, we'll give you your money if you fuck with Chuck Roberts. He's like, fuck, yeah, that sounds like fun. Well, we, t- we, we told him we'd give him money if he, he would go in the bathroom, because Chuck was in the bathroom. If he'd go in the bathroom and solicit Chuck Roberts for yeah. sex. Yeah, because remember, first we were watching from the van window, and I, we'd already given him his money, because we're not going to rip the dude off. And we're like, oh, yeah, here we go. And then he didn't go in the bathroom, and we're like, this motherfucker ripped us off. And then all of a sudden, Chuck comes out, and he goes, hey, you're that Chuck Roberts guy. And he's like, yes, sir, yes, I am. And he's like, <laughs> you're way better than Hank Hudson. And he's like, why, thank you. And he's carrying a, fu- he's carrying a fucking salad. And remember? And he's like, you want to come in the bathroom with me, asshole? And he's like, oh, get away from me. And he jumps in the van, and we're driving. And there's just silence in the van except for, like, giggling. Because back then, Chuck was our superior. <laughs> we hadn't become friends with him yet. And then all of a sudden, you know, the mouthful of salad, he goes, who the fuck said that? <laughs> Jimmy, do you remember? Um, oh my God, this was back at uh, Matrix. That, that let <laughs> oh, you know how far That's Matrix is actually where I made Chuck Roberts become my friend. Um, That's a you were you talking now. about how you were going to have a three match series with Satan. You and Satan oh, were going to have. I a remember be- this. We're going to have a best of three series. That was match one was at IWC. Well, yeah. on Earth, on Earth, more Earth, specifically. Yeah, Earth. But well, I would give it to Norm to, to draw the house. Uh, <laughs> the second match hell. was going to be in hell. And no. you were in trouble because you were, you were on his turf in his lands. And Well, and, yeah, and then that's the best drama because it's like, oh, he's going to pull off the upset in hell. And then obviously Satan's going to screw you in hell. And then the third one's neutral territory. Fucking moon. <laughs> It's not on Earth, not in hell. Oh, it's got to be on the moon. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> but, I mean, Chuck Roberts would never give me the time of day. And then I was at Matrix, Thanksgiving Eve. I was Great 21 day. years old. Great day to go to Matrix. Yes, I was 21 years old, Thanksgiving Eve, November 2006. And I see this really hot, like, older-looking MILF. And I'm like, God damn, who is that? And then I see Chuck Roberts with her. Chuck Roberts is like, hey, who are you here with? I'm like, I was like, I'm here with my brother and his girlfriend. He goes, yeah, obviously you're not here with a girl. I wanted to be like, well, tell your grandma I said hi, fuckhead. <laughs> but I didn't. 
<laughs> so we went our separate ways. Well, then that night, I see Chuck Roberts all alone getting thrown out by the uh, bouncers at Matrix. Uh, I happened to be getting thrown out, too, because I peed in a Bud Light bottle. And I said, hey. Uh, the lines go- were really long at Matrix. I said, you want to that, go That's home? not unreasonable. I was like, I know you live in my Washington. You want to go home together? And he's like, I'm not going home with you, you fucking weirdo. So my brother and his girlfriend and me and Chuck split a cab. And then after that, he became my friend. Because this girl had ditched him because he was got belligerent. And then we became friends after that. And that's how I became friends with Chuck Roberts. But then I ended up having to walk home from fucking Mount Washington, and I got assaulted by a gaggle of turkeys. For real, walking up Crane Avenue, I was annihilated. And I heard like... And there was like... Of course. Obviously, they weren't hurting me, but I was so fucked up. I went running, and I almost broke... I sprained my ankle so bad, I thought I broke it. Well, I mean, turkeys are pretty big around here. There's a lot of turkeys. Yeah, there is. They're aggressive birds, too, so... There mm. is. I mean, I'm fully confident that if they came at me, I'd give them like a double noggin knocker and like start just squeezing their fucking shit. That's like, when the wrestling training kicks in, right? That's when fucking instinct kicks in because we're we were all hunters at heart. I mean, we killed woolly mammoths and saber tooths as fucking you know our ancestors did. George Washington didn't trash that tea for us to eat salad burgers, man. He fucking trashed that tea for us to eat red meat, baby. Jesus didn't get nailed to that cross for us to be vegans. We use these canines to go. Oh shit! <laughs> it's like the opening the Sable's music. Considering he's just for the for the last twenty minutes cut the greatest promo uh, <laughs> I've heard in years. I I, I I I wanted to ask what is Jimmy Demarco's favorite promo he ever cut ever. There's some le- there's some there's oh, some ones geez. that are up there like there. The one in the refrigerator was great. There's yeah. one I cut on Johnny Gargano, uh, PWO, after I jumped him. Oh, wait, is this the... Oh, that, I'll let you know. Where I had to, like... Uh, I never really thought much of it. Mike Paris told me it was one of his favorite. Like, the thing is, is that, like, every day... I just have to talk constantly. I fucking hate it. <laughs> like, I go, oh, hey. <laughs> the other day I was at work. And the fucking rep from the health department game. She's just gorgeous. Gorgeous girl. Fit like a fiddle. <laughs> um, my crew is all Latino. And they don't respect women, especially pretty ones. So I'm like, hmm, how can I help this girl out? Because the old rep was this old white dude named Stanley. We used to tell, I used to tell my crew that Stanley would message me in the middle of the night and send me pictures in his underwear and say, hey, you up? <laughs> So they didn't respect Stanley. So this girl, I mean, she's built like a bowling pin in the best way possible. And I'm like, this roof ain't going to raise itself. So anyway, I said, hey, Abeldaro, get the rest of them around. Ice is here. And they're like, fuck. I mean, they're all illegal. So they're all sitting there like, listen. She messages me and she's like, I, that was the first time I ever did a uh, walkthrough and no one gave me any cat calls. Everyone was listening. And I'm like, well, yeah, I mean, they're really respectful guys. And, like, meanwhile, I told them, you're fucking ice. So they listen. And then I said, hey, we got to keep this personal. Professional. Not business. When I bend over to pick up material and you see my G-string hanging out, it's strictly a comfort thing. You know, it's not for pleasure. Well, little did I know, I get a message from her of a G-string. It says, I wear G-strings, too. And I'm like, come on, man. What am I supposed to? How am I supposed to respond to this? I keep it professional. But that's how you do it. That's how you talk to women. There's guys, there's young dudes out there nowadays who call themselves incels who are proud that they can't get fucked. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? That's the power and the glory. Look at me. Look at me right now. You talk to girls. I'm not saying you need to get fucked. I'm not saying you have to fuck every single girl you meet. Pump those fucking numbers up. Go down on her! Lick that girl, Sin Bean! Eat that ass! What the fuck's wrong with you? And then you can make a relationship because guess what? That girl's gonna wake up the next day and be like, he didn't last three seconds. He didn't last any seconds at all. He went, he licked my fucking Sin Bean. He flicked the Sin Bean so hard, it felt like a DeLorean going back in a mall parking lot in 1985. Made me get a BJ from my own mother. That's how fast it was. Amen. You must seduce the women. They want you to chase them. They don't want you to flip the bird out and be like, hey, where am I supposed to go? 
They want you to chase them. They want you to be like, hey, nice dress, Cheryl. Not, pull up your fucking skirt! What's wrong with you? The art of seduction is lost. The only, it's written in stone, the only defense against the dark arts are the moist muscular arts. Every day, sorcerers of the swollen are being wiped out because they don't want us. Do you think there's a reason sightings of aliens have gone up? Please give me a Modelo. Please. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're coming closer because the testosterone in the atmosphere is growing thinner. They feel confident. You think the aliens are going are gonna to try and make a move? Uh, fucking absolutely. Either aliens or demons. I mean, seriously, either one. They think that they can make a move, but here's where they're fucking wrong. Ooh. Every day, Sorg. Every day, LaRusso. Yes, sir. Every day, Tigra. Every day, Flexor. Every day, Futuristic. They're planning for the average human being. When they should be planning. They're not planning for Musculus Maximus. They're not planning for the jacked-up genius Sicko. Because they think, oh, they're all going to scatter and be afraid. They're all going to loot stores and stuff. Motherfucker, I'm going to be like, it's all you can eat night at the Zabrogi Inn, baby. I am God's greatest biological weapon. I want you to feast. <laughs> I want, if you have a female of the species and you beam me up, let me ask you this, Sorg. Why is every person abducted a redneck or a woman? Why have you never seen a jacked up genius sicko abducted? Because they're afraid, they're afraid, Jimmy. They're afraid of the Somewhere muscles. Somewhere out in space right now, there's an alien with a, his daughter has an 8x10 to chest flexor under her bed and she's blasting, <laughs> blasting herself to it. And the alien dad comes in and goes, where the fuck did you get this? Because he said, that there's strict orders. Never beam up a jacked up sicko. No. Because then you become slave to the earth man's muscle. They can't handle it. We get up. I'll tell you right now, I've had 75 different forms of date rape. I'm immune to it. They can give me whatever the fuck intergalactic wait, shit wait, they wait, want. Wait, wait. I'm gonna go. No, like no, this. no, no, no. Just shut up. When okay. they come back, all they're gonna find is my Coke Tiger sweatsuit. That's it. And then I'm gonna be in the vents. I'm in the wind on their ship. And they said, "Slave of the Earth, man's muscle. We're fucked. We're fucked." Because that's what God put me here for—to speculate and accumulate, to spread them, lick them, hit it. Strong like the rock. La All Migra. night long with that cock. La Migra, bring Sorga a cucumber. <laughs> Any time. I mean, it's the greatest time of the year. The muscle monger season is July 4th to, to December 25th. They want to control us, but they can't. They can't. I'm here for the red meat. I'm here for the hooters. I'm here for the clit. I'm here for the butt. I'm here for all of it, aren't you? I mean, it's butt eating season. The shoulders to the hips and everything in between. Exactly. Bravo. There's some girls who are like, okay, Latigra, you're you're perfect size. If I had to, if I hit the Powerball, I'm gonna wear you like a hockey mask, like Jason Voorhees. I'm gonna answer my door. I'm gonna do my tack. Your legs will be here. Your arms wrapped around. I'm just gonna go around all day like. <laughs> hey, your tack's here. I'll sign this. I'll sign this. I'll sign this. Hey, here you go. Juice is flowing down. I'll look like Whitebeard. It doesn't matter. Cream City. I don't fucking care. Because that's what I was put here for. I have a feeling you could start a religion. Like, if we let this guy go online, like, no, podcast. That, I, that's like, blasphemous to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, then I you could be a prof, You could be a prophet then. How's that? No. Unless he says so. Because, I'll tell you what. Sorg knows this. Me and Sorg are like this. Those Satanist pussies. And if you're watching this, you didn't get the fucking job done. December 2018, you put that fucking hex on me. You put a jihad on me. And guess what, motherfucker? I'm still here. A bee stung my eye and almost took it. I'm, I still see it. 2020. Fucking raccoon bit my goddamn hand. I had to endure the vaccinations. I'm still fucking here. Heart attack. Still here. Car accident. Still here. Blown out knee. I have my, my sex numbers are through the roof. My orgasms are through the roof. You fucked up. You thought you were dealing with Joe Q Public, but you're dealing with the fucking genetic mutation. Oh, Flexor, give it to Jimmy, me. Jimmy, Jimmy. Ah!
<laughs> Jimmy, I got a question. We got a question from Twitter. Really? Jason Faf. Faf. F-A-F. Jason Faf wants to know, he's a 20-year-old virgin. How can he get into that pants and dive into the wet, moist crevasse of the female? What do you think about this? <laughs> what do you say about that? Well, I mean, there's a lot of different, like, you're, who are we talking about here? Coworker? Because don't shit where you eat. No. Don't ever fuck around at work. Don't. It's yeah. trouble. That, his coworker it's actually is a, a pretty famous Ria's ad, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's still, it's not worth it because you're gonna, then you're going to lose your income. Never shit where you eat. Don't. I mean, flirt. Fuck around. So where would you go if you were this guy? Tw- he's in his 20s. <laughs> never never touched a girl before. <laughs> I mean, look, go to a bar, man. Go to a bar. I mean, if you want to fuck around and just have some promiscuous fun, go to a bar. I mean, but if you're looking for Mrs. Wright, go to a book club, go to the fucking public library, go to a church church. group. Church group, absolutely. You'll meet a good girl there. And blow her mind. I mean, she's probably... Well, you know what? You can't judge that. Because some girls, some of those fucking book club girls are are like... Mm -hmm. You never know. La Migra. Um, I can't. I can't keep up with this. I got. I'm gonna uh, sign on out. But hey, he's going home to beat off. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Merry well, Christmas and a out. happy New Year to everyone at Sorgatron Media. Uh, and in uh, Mer- and please, Jimmy DeMarco, give it up for for telling us all hey, what Christmas is hey, all about. Hey, 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 uh, what's the uh, IWC January show? Tag team champion right here. Reloaded. Reloaded. Oh no. Dropping loads. The reset button. Reset. Oh, Anything no. can happen. Oh no. Justin oh no. Plummer. Justin Plummer. I didn't even tell him about that reset button. Oh, Where's no. Vendetta? Justin Plummer's, Where's Vendetta? That. Justin Plummer's out there right now twerking in front of his webcam like <laughs> reset fucking button. He knows what time it is. Oh my god. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hey guys. IWC. 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 I'd, I'm the only one on the fucking payroll, Jen. Hey, come on, Plum Dog, Plum sex. Dog Millionaire. Where you at? Sex, 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 sex. I live in this neighborhood. Fuck me, right? <laughs> See ya, sore. See ya, thanks, Do Chris. Do we need to do an intermission here? Or are we just rolling? no. We're just rolling with it. We got some. Oh, we got some Christmas. comments. We got some comments it's from the Christmas. chat room. We got some comments from the chat room. Um, John Ronan says, oh gosh, came in at the perfect time. <laughs> uh, Alex Carr is out in California and says, when is the leg wrestling? What kind of leg wrestling? What's he talking about? Do you want to see cats? There was, there was a thing a couple oh, years ago. Pull, pull it up. Pull it up. What? Do Show those need, off. Do I need to go wide on this? Where you at? Where you <laughs> you got to go wide when it's you Jimmy D. Go, you can't, you can't connect that. Oh, there you go. You want leg wrestling? You, you rotten, dirty... Oh, oh shit! Jeez! Oh! It's the Jason Machine, Michael Jackson. Where the fuck? Where are you? <laughs> dancing, Larusso, dancing. Can we all agree on one thing here, ladies and gentlemen? Chris Larusso is going home to vigorously masturbate. <laughs> Ferociously. <laughs> Ferociously. We, I would just say no matter where the Christmas party goes from here, it's a fucking success because we just sent an IWC Tag Team Champion home to vigorously masturbate. Yeah. Wait, is he the champion now? Yeah. Yeah, him I'm and Chalk. Okay, okay. They beat the North. Wait, Sorg, you are, aren't you there? Aren't you filming? Oh, that, oh no. Never, no. Oh, sh- oh, sorry. Mm. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sounds like trouble in paradise. Oh, I don't know about all this. I'm shaking. I got a piss. I'll give you a two to one <laughs> odds that you can't guess what happened to Sorgatron Media. Sorga fired! Did it happen? Oof. Oof. <laughs> not talking about that. I don't have enough beers in me. <laughs> I have to be live on the internet with that the, shit. The legend of Sorg. <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, something about leg racing, something about shushing in the, in the chat room. Shush. Yeah. Who yeah. said shush? Somebody said shush. I don't know, recent new champion. A top prospect, if you will. You should bring up a uh, Dravico promo. Pro- Dravico? <laughs> who won the uh who the won best. Marshall's two PW title? That was John Roden. John Roden. Did Billy he say Goat. shush? No. <laughs> <laughs> top prospect. I can't read I can't read these emoticons right. 
No, he's probably good looking. If you see Shush, it might be like mm, <laughs> finger looking good. Like I never got the whole finger looking thing. KFC wants to do a fucking cauliflower burger. What? Colonel Sanders is probably having a seizure in his fucking grave right now. Where's like, the grease? I don't know. I can't deal with it. I can't deal with it. How are you going to have a KFC burger without any fucking meat, you motherfucker? Here's the real question. How can the Sorgatron Media Studio handle this mus- much masculinity at one time? We'll find out when I come back from pissing a half gallon of urine. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to go like awesome powers level of piss in three, two, one. Wow. So can we take the camera into the bathroom? No, we can't. We, we're on a wire. Oh, we're on a wire. La Migra. I'm sorry. La Migra, go Snapchat that. Yeah, La Migra needs to be interviewed, though. Put your hood on, La Migra. I think La Migra got an education. <laughs> Sinkara is here too. Sinkara, well, he's he's not doing anything right now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. KFC doesn't do burgers. He is at uh, says Alex Los Palmas or whatever it, yes. it is across so the street. Wonderful tacos, <laughs> wonderful tacos at Los Palmas. And always, also, I'm realizing there's a giant TV pointed at the taco stand during this entire thing. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> that might have been. I might not have wanted to turn that on tonight. So, wow. Okay, we need a breather after that one. Uh, you know, I love that we we started with the question of what was your favorite promo, and it, I don't know what that turned into. Everybody, yes, I'll just take this in. Hold on, let me stick the nuts in my mouth. It was good. I enjoyed. It. This is better than last. Last year you weren't drinking at all, and it was just you were being a Debbie Downer. This year, at least there's nonsense. That's oh, what. Yeah. Like I watched the Pee Wee Herman Christmas special before work mm. today. Like. Okay. It should be nonsense. Like, yeah, yeah. This is this is some good nonsense. This is a little bit more messy, but yeah. Well, we, I mean, it's not as messy as that one time. Mm, yeah. But, right. Yeah, because that that, that went mouth. bad. It's a good time though. Mm. John Roden wants to talk about the Dravico promo. We all want to talk about the Dravico. So what, what's promo. up with the Dravico promo? I didn't think he spoke. Don't be scared, little girl. What? Really? <laughs> That's what he said. That's what he started with. Quote. With the mask. What? Dravico promo. Don't be scared, uh, little girl. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Type in, like, Dravico VOW on YouTube, and it's, like, the worst promo ever. No, it's the best. A, it's the best promo ever, besides probably the frying pan promo, promotional video. And it was also produced by the greatest producer of professional wrestling history. Who? What? What well, I'm looking for it. I'm, I'm pretty much. He came over my house and had no clue what to do for his promo, and what you see is what happened. It was the mind terrible. of Corey Futuristic. Oh, the, the creative, the creative uh, prowess of. Corey I get it. It would have went a lot better if I did it. Mm-hmm. But oh well, it's a classic though. Especially if you can get the. What's the, the over uh, under on how game. many times LaRusso nuts? 87. <laughs> Realistically, I'm going to say at least three to five. I mean, he seemed like he was in a hurry to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> how many times do you think he finished before he left? He didn't even leave the park. He didn't even leave the parking lot. Boom, baby. I was waiting. I was waiting for that camera to come back on me. So, fuck, sir, I could go, I guess. Oh, on. Shit. Which way to the beach? Is it this way or is it this way? And then you go, oh. I know where the sand's at. Uh, what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> one time, let me ask Marshall this. Gambino where the sand is. I had sex one time at the beach. I'm talking 2005, 2006. Just my brain's really fucked up. I don't remember. <sighs> Beautiful girl. I felt really bad. Um, we had sex. It went in and out. Like, I mean, I'm not going to cut out the gory details. Four play was involved because I never just fucking go like boom, whatever. About two and a half minutes of sex, my pee pee fell out and hit the sand. It looked like a fucking corn dog, and I was so shit faced it went <laughs> right back in. She's like, ah, and I was like, oh fuck, are you okay? And she's like, what the fuck are you thinking? Uh? Not my proudest moment, but it's Christmas. Christmas is when you bear your soul. 
Jimmy, here we are. I need to run to the restroom. I want to leave this on you. If you can tell people a Christmas tale. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you all nestled by the fire? Fuck, so come sit on my lap while I tell this. All right, take my headphones off. Here, we'll give a little uh, soundtrack here. Now that Chris LaRusso is gone, I'm going to give you the unabridged version of how I got Santa to ass fuck Chris LaRusso. <laughs> 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 hey, which one do you guys want the soundtrack to be? Christmas in Sarajevo by Transsexual Orchestra or Last well, Christmas by Wham? Let's do Last Christmas by Wham. So we're in the locker room. And Santa finally shows up. And all night long, everyone's like, Santa's not going to do business. Santa doesn't want to get physical. So we give Santa the one thing that makes every Western Pennsylvania man get physical. Icy light. We give Santa a couple icy lights, and suddenly he's warmed up to the idea. So before LaRusso goes out, he says, Santa, let's do great business together. I love you. I, and, and, and Santa's like, I remember the things you wrote to me that you wanted to do to that Barbie doll, LaRusso, and God damn you for it. LaRusso ran out. I said to Santa, he's going to sandbag you, Santa. You know that. And Santa said, absolutely, my son. I will fuck him for this. And I said, remember, don't give him a lump of coal. Give him a lump of that cock. And Santa, sure enough, gave him some cock. Now, don't rem- don't ever forget. <laughs> <laughs> Never forget. While Sorg was in the bathroom, I showed you my privates. And Tom Salk is the only Magnum PI. And I have an erection from Flexor sitting on my lap. Why is it a little sticky on my rectum right now? Hold on. Lamigra, can I can I t- can I uh, strip tease on the roof of the Sorg stronghold to this song? I don't of know course. how to, I don't know how to get to the roof. So the, an- oh, the answer is ladder. yes. A fucking ladder. I mean, what the fuck? You got a car? Pull up as close as you can to the roof. I'll hop off. <laughs> <laughs> not here, not here. Um, Bra- Bradley says, I hope that one day Jimmy DeMarco comes out of his shell and figures out how to express himself. Bradley, who? Hill Brad- Bradley. Bradley Brothers. Oh, dude, he's a kinky fan. dude. He's... Yeah, he's very kinky. One time I high, I was going around the ring and I high fived him and he go, he grabbed me, he pulled me in, he goes, I have <laughs> a abnorm- I suffer from penile obesity. And I said, <laughs> Brother, I do too, don't we all? And he goes, Hell yeah. I'll never forget you. I mean, it's not a joke. Get your money. When your career is over, get medical disability. Register. I suffer from penile obesity. Yeah. We all do. Of I mean, course. painfully thick. Very common. When it's a milkshake, it's great. When yeah. it's your junk, you're fucked. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Sorg, you never told us your favorite movie of 2019. <laughs> Come on, man. I did. Give Shape of Water. Is no, it, wait, it was the wrong door, year. Is it Dora the Explorer? No, I did not see that. Shape of Water did Shape not of come water. out this no? year. Are you no, sure about that? That bro. I don't know. Is it? Mm-hmm. Well, probably Endgame. I one mean, that's Oscars. the easy one. Oh, my God. Endgame. Yeah, that's probably yeah, I mean, yeah. We'll see what Star Wars does <sighs> tomorrow, but... Dude, I have no faith in Star Wars. They no, fucked me. No? I love The Mandalorian. Okay. Like, I'm down with that. I haven't watched this yeah, week yet. Yeah, Mandalorian's I really thought, good. you know what? Honestly, I'll tell you this. I think Solo got a... Hey, are we out of, are we out of beer? <gasps> we have those uh, gimmicks that Hello, or La Migra got... Solo got a bad rap, if you ask me. It wasn't. It wasn't yeah, great. Solo, it was solo bad. wasn't that, that fucking bad. bad man. Get Jimmy yeah, Diaz. I'll tell you gimmick. what. The Last Jedi. Here's my whole thing. People rip on it for feminism and all this political shit. That ain't Luke Skywalker, man. Yeah. That motherfucker was so hopeful. His own dad, who killed his mother, tried to kill him. At the end of the fucking Return of the Jedi, that old bitch is like, zapping him with fucking lightning, and he's like, Dad, help me. Man, you watch Return of the Jedi when Darth Vader's like, fuck this shit, I'm saving my kid. And he gorilla presses the Emperor down that tube. That's Luke fucking Skywalker, the most hopeful motherfucker ever. Now you're telling me, oh, thank you so much. Now you're telling me Luke Skywalker is going to live alone on a planet, 
chug fucking yellow green milk and shit like come on man like i got no problem with rose tico i got no problem with black dudes and white dudes and spanish dudes we're all in this shit together i love the rainbow of colors i love it don't fuck with my luke don't fuck with luke skywalker jimmy do you remember when we were spoiling star wars for facade me and Flexor saw episode three. That's how old we are. We were driving to fucking show with Vendetta and Facade, and they hadn't seen it yet. And we're like, oh, how about that Mace Windu <laughs> Palpatine duel? <laughs> and you don't never know. Like, I never would have thought, like, Balk Nasty's into superhero movies and shit. He is. It's entertainment, man. It's for everybody. Mm -hmm. That's where you fall in love with that. I'll tell you this. You want to hear a good story? Core Futuristic knows this. Flexor, you might. I saw a fucking Justice League. I'm a DC guy. My entire life, I waited for Justice League. I suffered through Batman versus Superman. <laughs> and I sat there and I said, okay, he's killing people. Batman's killing people. Okay. Superman died. Pretty rushed. Okay. When I, when I got to the end of Justice League, if you would have saw me in my fucking car outside, you would have thought I either just found out my wife was cheating on me or I lost my job because I was punching the fuck out of my steering wheel. Why? Why would this happen? Like when, when, when Harvey Dent finds out Rachel got blown up instead of him in Dark Knight, that was me. I'm like, fuck! Why could you do this? Why? How? Now I hear, oh, they're going to release the Snyder Cut. What the fuck does that do for me? Like, that's like putting a Band-Aid on a fucking, my, hey, my butthole got stretched this big by fucking Lord Humongous. But guess what? We're going to give you some Preparation H. Sweet. It doesn't count. Yeah. It doesn't fucking count. It was only four bucks on Blu-ray yeah, on Black Friday. Exactly. So uh, I watched it again recently, and I You're was like, "You're telling me the world's that movie greatest shit. fucking super <laughs> Batman?" Bro oh god! Oh god! My brain, bro! You're making me relive wait, wait, it. What am I? Are you? I feel like I'm on the pinball machine in Jodie Foster. Batman versus Superman. Right. Why the fuck did they fight? Mm-hmm. Batman's supposed to be, okay, whether you, okay, kill Batman, killer Batman, whatever, murder Batman. It's up for debate, whatever. He can go both ways. But one thing's unanimous. He's a smart motherfucker, right? Mm hmm What was the motive? The entire 16 months after Man of Steel, after Superman wiped out his own race, right? To save the human world. All he did was save people. They even show you in a fucking montage. Batman's not stupid. So you're telling me the world's greatest detective for 16 months plotted the fucking murder of the nicest alien in the fucking universe. Why? Why? Because it's dark and fucking edgy. Get the fuck out of here. I did like Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Wonder those, Woman's good. I mean, God. I mean, Gail Gadot. And, uh, if you ask me which woman in the world do you want to have kids with, I need that height in my gene pool. I'm going to have sex with Yoga Dot. <laughs> <laughs> I desperately need it. I liked Aquaman, too. Oh, Aquaman. Yeah, Aquaman, Aquaman was great. Was Shazam was fun. Yeah. Joker is a fucking masterpiece. Yeah, definitely. Uh, what the fuck happened with Justice League? Yeah, it was bad. Wait, well, where are we on Suicide Squad? Oh, uh, God. I wiped my terrible. ass with it. The studio fucked with it. Show me the Suicide. You're, if you're going to give me the Snyder Cut, you show me that real Suicide Squad. Let me ask you this. How do you have a movie called The Suicide Squad and you got the Joker in it, but the Joker's not the main bad guy? The Joker's like the greatest fucking comic book villain ever. So yeah, why true. isn't he the bad guy? Why? Oh, I'm going to cover him in tattoos that say, damage with a fucking silver grill. Guess what? Jared Leto? He sucks balls. <laughs> he sucks... Joaquin, Sorg. it's all about the Joaquin Phoenix. So, have you seen Joker? I have. What do you think of Joker? I love Joker. I like how everybody was like, oh, it's going to spawn shootings. It's going to spawn this. All it spawned was people dancing on steps in fucking Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. The Those dairy are... fucking glitter, baby. History of rock and roll part two. <laughs> when Corey asked that question, what was what was everyone's favorite movie? That Joker's probably my favorite movie of Dude, no, I'll tell you what. Midsommar is your favorite movie. Well, well, that's a, you that's, like that book. Has ever, that's has, one of the best movies I've seen of the year. What? Midsummer or Midsommar. Oh, or dude, I, did, I, I didn't see the one before. Um, What was that called? Hereditary. Hered I saw Hereditary and I hated it. Yeah, that I was terrible. I didn't really like it. I, uh, I liked it, but I didn't like it. Maybe because I bought into the hype. 
But I liked Mid- Midsommar or whatever the fuck. Did, it was. Have you seen that sword? Did you see the faces in the in the woods in Midsommar? I only I don't know what the fuck they call that movie. That movie and Joker, I think, are really great movies. Uh, that mm-hmm. let me ask yeah. you this. I know the answer because I spoil myself rotten. Do you think Joker killed the hot black chick? The cinematographer ruined it. He gave the answer out. Scory, do you know? I don't know. I, I don't think no. like I when I watched it, my I saw it with my brother. He thought the Joker let her live. I thought Joker killed her because I thought that was the final step towards becoming Joker. The director and the cinematographer said he didn't. He only killed people who wronged him. So he walked out of the apartment. To me, that's a fucking plot hole because if I walk, if I'm a hot black chick and I walk out. And there's a wet, soaking wet, crazy white boy in my living room going, I'm going to call 911. But then again, the police did come the next day, which led to one of the greatest parts when he murdered that fat fuck Mm -hmm. in front of the midget. Yeah. That was, I I legit laughed out loud. That was the funniest part of any movie I've seen recently. I talked to to Mike Paris about this. He was the first person who saw it after me. I'm like, what'd you think? He loved it. He saw it with his wife. When I saw it, my <laughs> first screening, I felt awkward as fuck. Because I was, when he's fucking grinding, getting down, like when he's fucking dancing his tidy whities I'm like, man, get it. I like that. I was laughing. When he scared the midget, I liked it. When he fucking popped Robert De Niro, I was like, yeah. Because <laughs> he's, I hate Robert De Niro, but it was not just that. It was when he was like, I'll tell you what you get. You get what you fucking deserve. Kapow. I thought. Give him what he deserves. You, you convinced me. I'm in. I'm in. Plus, when he came out smoking the square, as a smoker, I'll tell you, you feel that shit. <laughs> when some asshole wants you to... Any you guys smoke here? No. Yeah. Let me tell La you Megla. something. You smoke? La Megla. You smoke? Cigarettes? Sometimes, man, when you need a cigarette, when someone's oh, got you at your last fucking wit's end, Corey, you can test this. Guys, when you hit that, you feel it. It calms your nerves. That's why it's addi- that's why it's addictive. And you go. It makes me want to dis- dance to "History of Rock and Roll" number two by Gary Glitter, which should make a fucking comeback if he's not receiving royalties because he's a pedophile. Do you see they bitched about that? Mm-hmm. Come on, man, Gary Glitter. I see I, I see chicks who look like Gary Glitter every day on the trolley. Give them the fucking proceeds. Old ladies, they look just like them. <laughs> Another good movie I've seen this year was uh, Art of Self-Defense. That's like uh, the dude from Zombieland, uh, Jason Eisenberg. He's like a complete bitch. He oh, I heard karate. about that. Has anybody like seen Zombieland too? Movie. Yeah, yeah. Any good? It was good. Sizzle or fizzle? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was good. It was good. I didn't expect much out of it. Yeah, it, 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 it did it, well. Yeah. This summer, they said for the box office was in the fucking shitter. Because guess what? When you start the spring off with fucking Tony Stark laying it all on the line, what comes next? I mean, really. When Iron... I'll tell you what. I wanted to see Avengers later in the day. I talked to Vendetta about this. I couldn't. Because it was sold the fuck out everywhere. So I had to go at 7 in the goddamn morning. I was under the influence of drugs. What? (laughs) Let me tell you, David Lee Roth talks about this. If you're at a concert, if you're at a movie, time your high. I'm going to go, David Lee Roth gets in trouble for saying this, but it's the truth. If you want to see the fucking main band, don't do it when the opening act's on. It's going to wear off. I timed mine perfectly. And let me tell you something. When Steve Rogers picked up Mahalinyor or whatever the fuck it's called, woo! I was like, (laughs) ha 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 ha. I don't. I'm not a clapper during movies, but I was like, "It's roofing gonna raise Active itself." Active cheering in the Dude, audience. I knew it. And, and Ultron, when he could wiggle that motherfucker, I was like, "He can lift that shit." I've been waiting. I've been fucking waiting. And then when he said, "I am Iron Man," come on, man, perfect fucking ending. Now tell me this: We're all wrestlers here. We're all involved in it. Nobody's ever fucking retired. You tell me the pop it's going to get when Robert Downey comes back. Because he ain't fucking dead. Imagine this. His daughter's like, and all of a sudden fucking spear's going in her. Because nowadays you got to penetrate. It's happening and all of a sudden you hear, 
Fucking Iron Man comes in for the hot tag. Or old man Captain America, he's all dead. What if that's a fucking scrawl? Then you guys see Captain Marvel? Yeah. I didn't. I refuse to see Captain Marvel. <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> it's pretty good. I haven't seen Captain it's Marvel good. or Fat Girl Ghostbusters. But let me rephrase here. God has rewarded me. And now the Ghostbusters 3 comes out. I want to experience the lowest of lows before the highest of highs. So before I go see Ghostbusters 3, I will watch Fat Girl Ghostbusters. And then I will see Bill Murray bust again, baby. Did you see the trailer? Oh, my God. How great was it? Last Tuesday night, I partied with this dude who's a diehard Ghostbusters fan. He hadn't seen it. And when he said, call it fate, call it luck, call it karma, he started fucking crying. And I cried, too, because I've been waiting. I'm fucking waiting. I love Bill Murray. Bill Murray's in uh, three of my top five favorite Murray movies. What's your top five? Bustin' makes you feel good. Don't forget it. Caddyshack, Life Aquatic, with Steve Zizou, Ghostbusters, Batman 89, mm. Rocky Balboa. That's my top five. And my top two for this year, if I had to say Joker's definitely up there. You can't deny Avengers Endgame. I mean, no. just for what it, they pulled it, it, up. It was an accomplishment. Flexor, what's your movies? My favorite movie of all time is Leolo. I don't know how many people know about Leolo, but Leolo is my favorite movie of all time. Sorg? I'm a Ghostbusters and the first Ninja Turtles movie. Dude, the first Ninja did you watch the fucking movies that made us or mm-hmm. the toys that made us? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I never believed that they would, because when I saw Ninja Turtles 1, I'm like, dude, that's fucking badass. We were all part of that generation. And then you see part two, and you're like, and then part two is cool because they got mutants, but fucking suck compared to one. You want that edge to it. Mm-hmm. They fed us good. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you give us prime rib, and then all of a sudden you want to give us a fucking Mick rib. You can't do that. And then it kept going, and it kept going, and then we had turtles in time, and it was like, what the fuck is this? Flexor, can I give them my... Here, let me give you guys my rundown for the greatest Christmas movie ever told. I'm in bed, I'm sleeping, right? And all of a sudden, me and Mike Paris, because we share a bunk bed, we get woke up. It's Jesus Christ. He's like, guys... I need you to follow me right now. We're going to Santa's Arctic stronghold. We go. Santa's poisoned. He's all fucked up. Instead of being a fat ass, he's like skinny as fuck. He's like... Jesus is like, I'm so fucked. It's my birthday. In 24 hours, Satan has enacted his master plan. No. He's poisoned Santa. He's locked Frosty in hell. And he's poisoned Rudolph, too. Christmas is canceled. He goes to hit the button. I grab his hand, and I'm like, fuck that shit. He goes, you don't understand. Can you make the drop? But it's a suicide mission. A human being can't handle the G-force of Santa's sled. I said, it's time to drop the fucking load. Then we cut to a montage of uh, Ronnie James Dio, God bless you, Mary, God rest you, merry gentlemen. And me and Shima are dropping the fucking toys. Santa's like, these goddamn motherfuckers, they're going to ruin my fucking plan. Santa's like, or Satan's like, I'm coming up to Earth. I'm going to blast him out of the fucking sky. When he leaves, Charlie Sheen goes into hell. He goes to Frost. Frosty's like, I can't get out of the hell gate. They blocked me. Charlie Sheen goes, melt, motherfucker. He snorts Frosty. He crosses the hell gate with Frosty in his nostrils and chest. Because Charlie Sheen's a devil. Once he gets Frosty back, Frosty gives Santa and Rudolph that blow. Santa blows us out of the, or Satan blows us out of the sky. We wreck in Times Square. Just like the Batwing wrecked in Batman 89. We get out. Satan's standing there all fucking goat legged with his genius sick dick hanging out. We're like, fuck you, motherfucker. So we try and fight him. He kicks our ass. All of a sudden, it starts to snow cocaine. Frosty's on the scene. Then all of a sudden, Christmas in Sarajevo by Trans Siberian Orchestra plays. Santa's there with chains. And then Rudolph. Satan's like... And we start pinballing him. Like, like, I go to swing, he knocks me out. But I'm a human being. And Santa's like... It's a great fucking fight scene. Love Jean-Claude Van Damme be a double for Santa. Maybe he'll play Santa. I don't know. So we start fighting. Craziness. All of a sudden, Frosty's on his back with icicles. Like, stabbing the fuck out of him. Frosty goes... Woom! And shoots a fucking icicle through his tummy. Santa goes, woo, wolf whistle. And Rudolph just comes running, fucking impales him with his horns. And then the flame goes, 
And then me and Shima get fucking double roundhouses to Satan's head. All of a sudden, the sky opens up in here. It's Eddie Van Halen on the guitar, but it's Jesus. He's like, best fucking birthday ever. Comes down from heaven. The end. I mean, there's more to it than that. But every little kid at home is watching us kick ass in Times Square. They're like, I'm a bad fucking boy. And I'm getting toys. That's what you get. All right. I think I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I can't get past that. Guys, it's been fun. Jimmy, thank you for coming by. This is how it ends. This is how it ends? Is this how Well, it ends? Jimmy was going to run through the window. That's the grand oh, finale. Yeah, no, I no. <laughs> Sorg, no, we don't do that here. We don't this is Wakanda. <laughs> <laughs> we don't jump through windows. Sorg, do a strip tease on top of the roof. That's how we end this. I I'm afraid of heights. That is true. Do you remember when Mav was sleeping against my car car door? Mav was sleeping against my car door with his head against the window. And I'm driving. Oh, yeah, you fucked him up. Yeah, 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 tell that story, dude. Corey, wait for this. He fucking... <laughs> dude, did you ever have a Christmas miracle? I just had one now. Fuck, so please, please. So we're driving down... We're driving down... Where are we going? Where are we going, Jimmy? I don't even remember. I forget. We're Uniontown? We're coming to Uniontown? Turkey from Uniontown? Town? Somewhere. I don't know. One, hey, real quick side note about Uniontown. Maverick one time, sweetest, most honest dude ever... Someone dropped the N word to him, and I saw the, f- the fire come out in him. He's like, What the fuck did you say to me? And I'm like, Oh, he's black after all. You don't fuck with Maverick, dude. You don't ever, if you ever want to fucking bring the hate out and the anger on somebody, use a racial slur. I don't understand why people can't understand that. What, why would you fucking poke the bear? But yeah. Especially not that bear. Oh, yeah, I remember when he screamed. Oh, my God. Ah! Wait, wait, save it, save it. <laughs> so Give me I'm, the cue. I'm driving. <laughs> I'm driving down the street. Oh, I'm driving down the highway. Probably going like 96 miles an hour. Who's in the back seat with you? Shima. <laughs> <laughs> Shima's sleeping probably. Cause Shima falls asleep two minutes into a drive. DJZ. Jaquan. What kind of What kind of Jimmy D. I don't know. Was it was Facade there or Gory or some one of the usual guys? It was either Facade or Gory in the middle of us. So we're going wherever we're going, coming or going. Mav is sleeping in the front seat with his head against the window. And I'm driving. I'm going, speeding down the highway. Next thing I know, there's this big tractor trailer <laughs> truck next to us. And I'm we're we're both making a bend. But I'm making less of a bend than this truck is, so it looks like I'm heading straight towards this truck, the side of the truck. And just as I do that, Mav opens up, slightly opens up one eye. He's waking up. Hmm, what's going on? And then you hear... <laughs> Mav, Mav screams, jumps, not one seat over, but two seats over, almost onto my lap. He goes, ah, ah, ah! <laughs> You just you hear the cackles in the back back seat. Jimmy D's laughing his ass off. Probably pissed himself three times. <laughs> Mav thought he was dead, but don't worry. I got everyone there, safe and sound. Flexor, 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 flexor. It's a Christmas miracle. Corey is leaving. Jimmy, do you have any uh, final words? For people for this holiday season yeah don't drink and drive use an uber if i if uber was around when i was in my early 20s i have fucking seven kids by now i'll tell you a real story real quick what? you want to hear about what i did with my thumb he knows this one time there was this fucking girl text me said i need sex i said well you go- came to the right guy i locked my keys in my car <laughs> <laughs> i was shit faced i <laughs> I bit my thumb down, probably to about right here, to remove the nail, and then I used it to pick the lock to my car. Gushing blood. Got in the car, drove from Beachview to Mount Oliver, took her, gave her a passport to Poundtown. The whole time, I had a uh, tissue and a bunch of stuff wrapped around my hand. It was hurting like a motherfucker, so I guess. And the whole time, actually, it helped me um, help my performance because I couldn't prematurely bust because I'm like. 
Oh, it hurts. Don't bleed. Don't bleed. Don't bleed. It's going down my hand like that. I would. She's like, take your fucking hoodie off. I'm like, no, I haven't uh, done sit-ups lately. My abs are bad. Meanwhile, I, my abs were good. I'm letting my body go to waste, but I didn't want her to get sprinkled by the uh, fucking blood from me picking my lock. This goes back to what I said before. There's a chick who asks for the pee-pee. <laughs> It's no different than when a goth girl plays the Ouija board by Solo. If they play Solo long enough, Uncle Scratch is going to knock at that sin bean. Well, guess what, guys? When they ask, they shall receive. So it was written by Christopher Columbus. Show shall be delivered. If you want pee-pee, the heterosexual man is here. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Hanukkah. Spend lots of time with your family. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Because you know what? That's what it's all about. Yep. Yep. Because if you don't spend time with your family, you don't realize how fucking miserable you are and how you had to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't spend time with your family. Spend time, spend with, time with whores. Oh, spend dude, time fucking. Absolutely spend time with whores. Right? Get right. it. Flexor, continue, please. Flexor, yeah, yeah. anything? Any last uh, thoughts? Believe it or not, this is the calm before the storm. Leading up to this one through four, lunat lunacy. Five, this is actually mellow. And Chris LaRusso is at home right now using two hands to beat the living shit out of his PV because he's like, hmm, that five o'clock shadow Jimmy had looked real fucking good. I wonder what Corey's hair smelled like. I wonder what Flexor's fingers smelled Ooh, like. Has I wonder the what sandpaper mittens. That's what he wanted to know. The Tokyo taxi driver. <laughs> this is the calm before the storm. 2020 Christmas STDs. You better be there. There you go. Thank you, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this journey uh <laughs> we'll see you guys have a great christmas have a great time and we'll see you guys in 2020 mayhem out this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network find out more at sorgatronmedia.com